yeah, every now and then. If you want it, you can get it. Let me know. God damn it. I drank too fast, god damn it. Uh, the only thing that sucks is that the the oh, Yeah. The YouTube page is horribly off center, but I'm not gonna change it. Cause my setup is like it's perfect for like for work for watching a YouTube video. Anyway, oh, Mansoor Long says, oh, I asks, did you see the new Jurassic Park World? So, I all I keep saying Jurassic Park by accident. God damn it, because I keep remembering a good franchise. Uh, yeah, but Monsor Long asks, did you see the new Jurassic World trailer? L it looks bad. Yeah, yeah, I did. And there will be a trailer reaction video for that. Just like, uh, you know, uh, the other one I released for, uh, uh Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> Evil Hero Diamond Cat, $10 Super Chat. Hey, Jay, I recently found out that my sister supports CRT. Oh, Jesus Christ. She's a teacher, by the way. Uh, if I talk to her again, which I say, by the way, you're missing out uh, by not watching Naomi. I I know, but I saw that, I saw one episode and I was like, why? <laughs> why? I don't know. I might get in touch with it after Batwoman's done. I hope Batwoman. Bat, I, I hope Batwoman gets uh, canceled, <laughs> so so I can at least move on to like another. Re, uh, you know, react series that I can uh, sponge off of. Who knows? I might do Naomi or I... No, 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 no. I was thinking about that for now. But yeah, I could do Naomi. Maybe. Like I said, I gotta get back in touch with it. I saw the first episode and I bounced. I was out. And uh, as for your teacher uh, sister, just... <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> That's a complicated situation. But I would ask her, like, do you you know what that is, right? CRT. Have you actually read research on it and what it is? And and also make sure you've researched it before talking with her. I mean, it's pretty clear what it is. But I would still like brush up on it and then school her on what the hell it is and why that's it's really bad. <laughs> Make sure you let her know, like, you know, like, this is what people used to do with black people back in the day. They used to teach their children that we were dirty and rapists and this and this and that. This is just the inverse of that. People, like, usually racists, especially people, racists in power, wait right until the very, the very, like, a decent, like, a reasonable moment where it's socially, like, right at a vulnerable place in society where we, they they take a race and they target that one race and they say, hey, these people are bad. Like, what the fuck? Is that my... Okay, why isn't the thing working? I can't scroll up. Is that my mouse? Oh, God. Sorry, guys. Shit is going down. Okay, Rua. Rua Hamur. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. A uh, $2 super chat. It's a little, it's a little doggy with hearts. Thank you. Mr. N, $5 super chat. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered about the health of your gut flow? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Kill Switch Engage? Uh, oh, Jake Bobbinreith. Uh, what's Generation Help? Oh, okay. Let me explain that. <laughs> but I hope uh, Evil Hero Diamond Cat, you uh, get something from my advice. Uh, Mikey Gussler, five dollars super chat. Are you going to cover the Karen video that had to be re-uploaded? Oh yes, right. They did. Like, I'll get to that in a second. I'll get to that in a second. In, in that, I'll get to that in a second when I start talking about this channel. MSA Joey Joe Star, ten dollars super chat. 
Miss Longbone, glad you saw this cringe plethora of a channel. I s remember DMing you the Whip Karen video also. Yeah, I think you're the one who inspired me. Wait, no. Or was it... I forgot who it was first. Either it was you or I saw that Leon Lush video and I was like, oh, this is terrible. But I think it might have been you. Yeah, you know what? It was you. It was you when you messaged me. You're the one who turned me on to this video. And then I, then I saw the Leon Lush reaction. Anyway, I remember doing it. Also, also, have you seen the Showtime trailer yet? Uh, they recently blocked the comments. Yeah, I know. I've been uh, tweeting. Uh, I tweeted just today that they blocked the comments. Yeah. See, that trailer, that's something that's like, it is it is cringe, but at the same time, it's infuriating. And it's just like blatantly racist. And I'm not trying to give that shit more attention than it deserves. Excuse me. Because most people have already synonymously agreed that it's trash, blatantly racist trash. It's something that, like, it more angers me than makes me, like, than annoys me like everything else, you know. Mikey Gussler filed a super chat, as said, he'll upload his Karen video on Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah! <laughs> you vanilla motherfucker! Let's go! <laughs> Let's do this, thank God, finally. Oh, uh, I, you know, I can't really talk though, cause I got a, I got a Karen reaction sitting on my computer right now that I need to get on. But anyway, let's, let's get to this shit. Okay. Um, today we're going to be talking about Generation Hope. Uh, it's a YouTube channel that specializes in, um, like inspirational, like inspo content bullshit, like Darman. I know you guys, you guys have been exposed to Darman through one of your favorite YouTubers at some point. <sighs> and he does the same kind of content. Like, he'll make some really poorly acted, like, un like unrealistic, like, either extremely cliche uh, uh, scenarios or completely unrealistic. Uh, oh my god. Unrealistic scenarios. <sighs> and they're usually about, like, race... Or, uh, generally just treating people well. <sighs> like, the, their videos will have, like, a title, like, uh, uh, this girl gets mistreated because she likes video games. What happens next will shock you. <laughs> like, that type of schmaltzy bullshit that people seem to really respond to for some odd reason. This fucking channel, I don't know where it came from. I don't think they have a, a video older than... Uh, like 2019 for like two years no eight months ago sorry about that they don't have a video older than eight months these motherfucking channels just pop up <sighs> okay there we go these channels just pop up out of nowhere this channel ain't nothing but eight months old and then you have darman who's who's been around long way longer than that but yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. And then, like, G Generation Hope came along. Uh, some YouTubers did some videos on it. Like, this is, like... I don't know if there's any more out there that are m worse than this. But this is, like... This is the extreme. Like, these are... I feel like, at this point, after Darman and shit, people are taking the piss. Like, yeah, they're, they're leeching off this market of uh, pseudo-positivity and shit. But at the same time, they're purposely making them bad so they'll get a lot of traction. That's that's my outlook on this whole situation. That's that's how I that's how I read this because this is just too. You see some of these fucking thumbnails. Like you can't see all of them because like some of them are cut off, unfortunately. But like some of them are like like the faces are all like photoshopped and like someone really took the liquify tool with some of these. And they're just, they're really, like, it, it looks like it's milking, uh, it, it is milking that genre, but it's mostly for comedy. Like, they want people to fall for the, fall for the grift, but they make sure they're as funny as possible so they get attention. And recently they came out with this one that got a lot of attention, is about this Karen bitch who... Uh, was whipping a disabled black boy in the middle of a basketball court. Now, <laughs> it got a lot of attention. Leon Lush went at that shit. Uh, a couple others too, but you know, I've only seen his so far. And 
someone like of course like M- uh msa joey joe star like he said like he dm'd me and sent me the video <laughs> for a lark and well since then the, the video's been deleted from their channel for some reason probably because of all the heat it got uh i don't think that i don't agree with that i don't agree with it being removed like come on <laughs> come on it's clear like this is it's so ridiculous then how can you even fucking take it seriously? It's so fucking retarded. I don't believe that they should be taken out. Like I remember uh, Leon Lush's video. They said maybe their video should be removed. Maybe they or maybe they should be taken off the platform. I'm like, look, slow the fuck down. No. <laughs> For one thing, who are you going to get content off of, motherfucker? Who are you, who are you going to get content off of if they delete channels like this? Let's be real. This is all like. The commentary and reaction channel's bread and butter. Let's be real. Let's be real. You don't really want them taken off the platform. You're just saying that because it sounds like something very moral to say. because And because of the subject matter of the, the, the video in question. It's very racially motivated. And some of the words she uses are very scary. But like, no. They should not be taken off the platform. That's ridiculous. Off of this shit? Like, it's comedy gold. It's comedy fucking gold, yo. <laughs> And honestly, like I said, it's all about, like, if, if the whole argument is that kids are watching it, I don't give a shit. These parents should not be letting their children onto this platform or anywhere on YouTube or anywhere on the internet unsupervised. Is that, and that's just, that's just the way it is. Like, that's, that's, um, that it doesn't need to be said. More monitoring. Come on. Uh, okay. Grapple R, $2 super chat. Karen out here whipping like she's... <laughs> Simon Belmont. <laughs> okay. Malaysia Morgan, $5 super chat. It's basically like drug PSAs. Who is selling drugs to kids? They ain't got no money. <laughs> I, that's true. That's true. Or, or at least they ain't got enough money for like drugs. I mean, they, they always got like a little, you know, lunch money on hand. But, you know, that's not enough to buy a fucking an ounce. <laughs> What's that? But yeah, these thumbnails are just like they're crazy, and they're so funny. Like these, I just only saw the one video, but it's so fucking funny. As how can you take this seriously? How can you make an issue out of this? Cause should they be removed from YouTube? Like no, no, hell no! Stop that shit. But anyway. Uh, what the fuck? Here's the good news and the bad news. The good news is we're gonna go through uh how how much like as much of Generation Hope's videos like their content as possible until of course midnight or twelve thirty as usual. Okay, the bad news is they re- they have removed the Karen video, but there's also good news again. It has been mirrored on YouTube, and I have no 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 forget it. I'm not gonna mention that yet. I gotta keep the, I gotta keep my, uh, my off the cuff, uh, you know, scripting in my mind going. Okay, but uh, uh, yeah. The, the good news is they mirrored it on YouTube somewhere. Like people have re-uploaded it as they should, because that was a banger. <laughs> and um, but there's also once again bad news. Uh, I don't want to cover it right now. That's that video. But wait. There's some good news. Once again, I have downloaded the video. I have since downloaded the video, so I already have a copy of it. And I am scripting a dedicated video for that particular Karen video. So I will be covering it. Just not tonight on this stream. Um, But we will be covering everything else, which I'm pretty sure is just as shitty. (laughs) Just as shitty. Uh, Like I said, I'm working on a script for it. Um, I'm nearly done. I'm like nine minutes into the video and I'll be probably filming that soonish, maybe. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. When I might, we may not, Jesus, I need water. I talk fast when I'm on stream. We may not be covering it tonight, but I'm still covering it. So don't worry about it. If you, if you look, if you. Uh, people who are subscribed to me, if you're not, if you're uh, late 
to getting to this and you're watching the VOD the next day, there will be a video coming out on that particular Generation Hope video. Just not tonight. There will be a scripted one, though. Probably next... Uh, maybe sometime next week? We'll see. Like, I, I, like I'm going to film it very soon, and then, of course, there's the editing process. But yeah, we'll see. Probably next week, but it's coming. All right, but we're going to get into this shit. Let's do it! Let's go! Oh, there's so there's so many here. Oh, I don't know which one to go to first. God damn it. <clears throat> White cop mistreats black woman. Oh my god. Let's go to that one first. Why not? Why not? Let's get demonetized immediately. <laughs> back to me. Please give me my phone back. Includes paid promotion. Who the fuck is promoting this shit? What? It's got to be some kind of like, um, you know, like, uh, uh, like, uh, the Daily Wire's, uh, promotion, <laughs> promotions. Uh, Harakura knives. You can ch chop through any steak with a Harakura knife. <laughs> like some bootleg shit. Um, but yeah, let, let, let's get to it. God. Uh, let me make sure it's at the right volume. There we go. Anthony, please give me my phone back. It is the only smartphone I have. I know. That's why I'm destroying it. <laughs> it's only like the first seven seconds. It's the only phone I have, Bethany. Like, yeah, I know. That's why I'm fucking destroying. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Why would you get rid of this content? This is amazing. This is like ridiculously evil for no reason. <laughs> she looks like somebody. I'm trying to figure out who. <laughs> this fucking psycho. This. Yeah, nice glass sound effects. <laughs> Sounds like someone gently tapped a f uh, like a, a wine flute of Chardonnay. <laughs> because there are two types of people in this world. People that look like me and deserve to be managers and be in high-end positions. Bitch, your hair isn't even brushed. <laughs> I deserve to be a manager. That's why I look like a... Z extra in a Rob Zombie movie. Her hair is like, what? It's ratty. And in fact, everything she's wearing looks stupid. Like, that, the blazer's ill-fitting. Her hair's not brushed. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Everything's just all wrong already. And people that look like you who deserve to... <laughs> <laughs> People who look like you, who deserve to clean toilets. Hang on a second. In high end it. positions, and people that look like you, who deserve to clean toilets and work at fast food places like KFC. <laughs> Why are you being so specific? Oh, well, all right, the fried chicken thing. Uh -huh. MSA Joey Joe Star two dollars super chat. I'm already dying. I, I know. I Oh, Monsor Log. She looks crazy. <laughs> Little Mao. Candy Heart Deco. This feels like a parody. Exactly. I don't understand why Leon Lush was talking about we should have this stuff removed. It's just it's just too much for the kids. This is hilarious. <laughs> I am gonna tell everyone what you did so they will not hire you. And you think they're gonna believe someone who beats up women? Beats up women? Help! Help! Please! She's hurting me! Help! What? Uh Bitch, we're both women. <laughs> what the hell is happening? This is this is asinine. <laughs> now she's just she's not. I'm angry. I'd be like, bitch, I'm not even angry anymore. I'm just confused. Like we're both women. Are you saying I'm? Are you saying I'm not a woman? Are you saying I'm secretly? I secretly got a dick. What are you saying? 
What are you saying right now? Huh? I'm confused. I'm confusion right now. Uh, Christopher Ozan, two dollar super chat. BT's Karen too. <laughs> Beats up women? Help, help, please, she's hurting me, help! What, what are you talking about? Don't help me, help me, help! That, this is, I don't know what to say. I, I just don't know what to say anymore. <sighs> and Mr. N, $2 Super Chat, what is this GameStop feminist privilege? Someone call the cops! Please. Stephanie, stop that! Uh, stop! Stop! Help, help, she's hurting me! Why would you fall for that? Any black person would have like would have been backing away from her like bitch you crazy. <laughs> Are you crazy? Stop saying that. I'm not doing anything to you. <laughs> Ma'am, I need you to <laughs> Oh my... back up. Back up. <laughs> oh Paul Blart. <laughs> it's Paul Blart's sexier brother. <laughs> Don't fuck, bro. What are you wearing? You, as as we all know, cops just have their initials on the front of their <laughs> on the front of their shirts, and they, like it's oh, I'm already like like done. <laughs> Do we need to see any more? Grapple R fight all super chat. This would make a lot more sense if this was a weird race sex race play sex thing. Uh, the fact that it isn't just makes it much more confusing. I know. John Smith, uh, five dollar super chat. Happy early Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you, thank you. I swear, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is happening? Uh, it's like yeah, it's like John Candy and Paul Blart. But you know, you know, fuck it, fuck that. Take Johnny Candy, John Candy out of the equation because that's just mean. He didn't die for this. <laughs> Is this Kmart? This is some kind of party city cop outfit they bought, and for some reason it has his initials on the front. Unless no wait, unless it's wait, 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 wait. Let me back up. Does it say cop on the front? Because it looks like JP, but his like his collar is turned down. So I'm thinking, does that is that supposed to say cop on, on his chest? Well, let me keep playing. Ma'am, I need you to step away from her. It. <laughs> It says cop on the front of his shirt. Keep in mind, Leon Lush said this was dangerous and should be removed from YouTube. Maybe not this video in particular, but like he said, like Generation Hope's content. They're, da they're, they're very dangerous content. The realest in the game. <laughs> what? Why is this something you have chosen to do? <laughs> Wait, it's not what it looks like. I'm actually just trying to... That's it. I warned you. Man. I warned you? When? When was this? We didn't see you warning up. Oh, that was... Ma'am, please calm down. Stop! Get off me! Uh, Don't make me don't use excessive force. This, yeah, this looks like a porno. Uh, excuse me. Someone in chat said it better. Like this looks like race play porno. This is not. This is, <laughs> Bridget Saito, five dollar super chat. The cops' response time is the true immersion killer. Uh, excuse me. Why are you doing this to me? Please calm down. Get off! Look at these angles. How they're on her thighs and like on his on his crotch. That come on. They had uh, they either hired someone who specializes in porn cinematography or whatever, or they're just, like I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't, I don't know if it's purposeful. Uh, like it's like if it's on purpose to get those extra views. Like they're appealing to sex appeal in some in some like in some kind of clever. Like Machiavellian type of way, like let's look at the views. Chocolate. Hey, hey guys, today's episode is sponsored by Work. No, you cannot. It's one minute, twenty minute video. 
Oh, and your oh, we, for our sponsors for this race baiting claptrap is look at those. It's the bunny game. <laughs> what? I'm already like exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Ah! I'm already fucking exhausted. I have no idea why. <laughs> it's just too much at once. We now return to Black Woman Gets Traumatized. <laughs> Get off me! Hey guys, today's- One month earlier, a word farm adventure. <laughs> oh. Y'all thought it was smart to put a brand deal right- right there? Y'all couldn't wait till the end, huh? Y'all couldn't wait till the end? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This episode is sponsored by Word Farm Adventure. But more on them later. Why did you even- More on them later. So you could have waited until later for the brand deal. <laughs> it's also creepy, by the way. <laughs> Her face is- Like, it's all- I don't know. It's funny. Shit. Darnell, come on, let's go. You're gonna miss this bus. I've got work in 30 minutes and- I'm cleaning Miss Rogers' house, so I can't drive you to school today. Coming, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how kids just have access to phones like that. I don't like it. I know that's just random. That's out of nowhere and random, but you know, the same. What is this video game that you keep playing all the time? It's called War Farm Adventure. War. <laughs> So not only do you, more and then later, and then they show, immediately after, show the kid playing the fucking game. These motherfuckers all about they cheddar. Bird farm adventure? Yeah, it's really a fun game. They helped me learn. I thought he was sitting in another spot a, a second what? ago. Hang on. Bird farm adventure? Yeah, it's really. That's, that was a weird angle, because it looked like he was sitting on the couch, or right in front of the couch. And then he was sitting in his little chair on the table. That's it's called that... War Farm Adventure. Yeah, I think it's what I. I think it's what. Yeah, see, their cinematography is all fucked. War Farm Adventure. Yeah, it's really a fun game. They help me learn new words and. Oh, uh, he's looking at. Oh, you see that? He's looking at the cue card, and that's poorly tracked onto the phone. <laughs> There's so much motion. He's reading the cue card. <laughs> he looks like a pencil too, by the way. <laughs> and look how this is poorly tracked to the phone. Oh, that's so shitty. Have y'all ever heard of like Mocha Pro? Like there's ways to get this nice and tight. And why is everything blurred except the fucking the pencil? It's all different. Oh, I'm never doing this again. I'm never coming to this. Sh I'm never doing an entire stream based on the, one of these bum ass channels because I'm already frustrated. Oh. But look at look how poorly and his cut his thumb is cut off. W why? So they couldn't get a green, because if it's a green screen, for one thing, if it's a green screen, you put the graphic underneath it, underneath the fucking phone, and his thumb is cut off, which, uh, see, look, for, <laughs> I just noticed another problem. He's playing the game for real right here, and then they cut to later when he's playing the game, and, he, and they track... And it's a is it's a poorly green screened tracking effect of the game. Why? What is this video game that you keep playing all the time? It's called War. See, I'm an editor, and it's pissing me off. Farm Adventure. Word Farm Adventure. Yeah, it's really a fun game. They help me learn new words. And now look at it. It's a bad track, badly tracked effect. Oh, and for one thing, I don't think like the resolution is right. 
because it keeps scrolling. I, I thought I think I saw it scrolling across a second ago. Oh, hang on, hang on. It had a spell book. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. See, yeah, it's just the bad tracking. God damn it! And his thumb is cut off. <laughs> I hate these people. Now, if anything, if um, <clears throat> if they need to be taken off the platform, it's for bad editing. <laughs> bad fucking editing. Evil Hero Diamond Cat, two dollars super chat. Your audio keeps cutting out for the last three streams. I have no idea why it keeps doing that. I think it might be because I'm yelling. I don't know. I think I might have to revert to something else if it keeps happening. Or it could be my internet. I don't know. Go back to green. Okay, I have to keep it a little quieter because people say, are saying my voice is cutting out again. I think it might be because I'm too loud. But Jesus Christ, why would you... And why would you blur around it, putting more emphasis on the bad effect? That's what kills me. Why would you do that? Look at his thumb, it's cut off! Three. And I'm making Scrabble missions off of my mobile. And he's, and he's not even playing in the next shot. Okay, whatever. Whatever! Phone. Well, that sounds like fun. I mean, maybe I'll play it later. But for now... And now we're back to real gameplay. Right? Now I get you going, so you don't miss your bus, and I'm not late for work, okay? Let's get going. All right. Ashley, oh my god, I have some amazing news. What is it? Okay, so. This looks like the same house. Oh my god, I Hang on. Oh Wait. my god, Ashley. Ashley, oh my god, I have some amazing Or this could be like a, a, like a different house in the same neighborhood. Amazing news. <laughs> what is it? Okay. Your eye, your eyelashes. You look like a fucking giraffe. <laughs> Let's rewind it. Oh, look at that. That looks like shit. <laughs> all right, the, all right. Editing bad. Makeup bad. Messaging. We're gonna get to that pretty soon. It's, it's of course that's bad. Everything is bad about this. What the fuck is wrong with her eyelashes? I'm I'm capping that. I'm screen capping that. There we go. But that's terrible. And it doesn't, it does, I don't know what it is, but it, it matches very poorly with her, with her eyebrows. I, I don't know. Ugh. Sith Dreamer, just wait, Jay. The same apartment shows up in nearly every one of these videos. Wow. Okay, so. You know who Hank Holcomb is, right? Of course. He's only the most famous writer in the world. And also the most rich and handsome man in the world. Oh my God, his body is delicious. I could eat him. <laughs> also, <laughs> the most handsome man in the world. Oh my God, his body is so delicious. Him up. <laughs> oh my God, Bethany, you can't be... <gasps> delicious, I could eat him up. <laughs> Oh my God, Bethany, you can't be saying stuff like that. Wait You're a, a married woman. I Wait, mean, go back. What my husband doesn't know. Won't... Oh my God, Bethany, you can't be saying stuff like that. I could eat him up. <laughs> oh my God, Bethany, you can't be saying stuff like that. You're a married woman. I mean. What my husband doesn't know won't hurt him, right? <laughs> are you creeping with this guy, or are you just talking about how you want to fuck him? Because, like, this these are two, two different things. Envilor, I think? Uh, $5 super chat? I believe Hank Holcomb is the writer of these. Jesus Christ. Really? <laughs> Ew. You got women... He has women thirsting after his dick. He wrote, he wrote the script. Where women are thirsting after his dick in his own video. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, he sold so many books that he's worth over a hundred million dollars. Wow. And now he makes really trash videos on YouTube. Oh! That is a lot of money. <laughs> yep. And here's the crazy part. He's looking for an assistant right here in Austin, Texas. Shut up. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> y'all. Y'all ever got so excited that you just fucking flinged? 
And you just fling a fucking saucer off the table. <laughs> oh, I don't know why that pissed me off. I, I, well, I don't know why it made me laugh. I'm not really pissed. Right here in Austin, Texas. Shut up. <sighs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. Damn Damn it. Don't worry about it. I was trying to cap. Come on. Come on, let's clean this up. Yes, Miss Rogers. I was trying to cap so that. Sorry. Yep. Without and here's the, crazy the search part. bar. He's looking for an assistant right here in Austin, Texas. Shut up. <sighs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. Damn it. Oh, don't worry about it. Um, Simone, come on, let's clean this up. Oh my God, don't worry about it. Um, Simone, come on, let's clean. Come on. I will get to cap this, damn it. Um, oh my God. I'm Austin, Texas. Texas. Shut up. <sighs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, don't worry about it. <sighs> um, Simone. Come yeah, I'm sorry guys, my uh, screen grabber is being really slow. Yep, and here's the crazy part. He's looking for an assistant right here in Austin, Texas. Shut up. <sighs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, don't worry about it. Um, Simone, come on, let's clean this up. Yes, Miss Rogers. What did I say about you calling me Miss Rogers? Okay, that's for my acquaintances. People like you can call me master. She's already like a um a low tier cunt. But then uh, but then suddenly she goes, You can call me master. Like, ugh. <laughs> like total Jordan Peel vibes. To Jordan Peel Like a it's a Jordan Peel joint. <laughs> MSA, Joey Joe Star two dollars super chat. I don't know why, but the lady sounds like Ryan. Understood? Yes, master. Now get the fuck back to cleaning. I'm pretty sure if you're not undocumented, you can clearly you can report her. Okay. I don't want you near me too long. I don't want to catch your lice. <laughs> I don't want to catch your lice. <laughs> you hear how she fucking um she draw she really drawed out that I don't want to catch your lice. <laughs> her makeup job is bad it's really bad y'all i can't get over this <laughs> oh. god damn it no no i fucked up wait what am i doing Never mind. Ugh. I have two different screenshot uh, apps. Well, I got one that the, the one that comes with Windows, and I have one that that I install for YouTube, where I can just take caps right there. And I haven't been fucking using it like a moron. All right, let's do this. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, Ashley. Ashley. Keep these people in their place and. <laughs> <laughs> oh. These facial expressions are perfect. Clearly, my husband hasn't trained this one properly. Come on, faster, faster. I mean, she's right. You are going hella slow right now. <laughs> I am not paying you $7 an hour to stare at the ground like a dumb monkey. I'm, I'm surprised you're paying her $7 an hour. <laughs> that, that much? I thought they would have gone the extra mile and just said that she locks her in her fucking basement. And she's her personal slave. But no, you know, she's paying her $7 an hour. You know, you gotta be fair. You gotta pay the minimum wage. <laughs> For these fools. Uh, Master Chuddy. Uh, two dollar super chat. This video has some fifth grade dialogue. The fuck? Sorry, Miss Rogers. I mean, Master. It's just that I've been working for eight hours and you haven't let me take a break. Your camera is struggling to focus. And you won't get a break. There we go. We back. 
Back at it again. Yeah, I feel like as soon as she said monkey, like the internet just went out. <laughs> the internet was like, nope. Like I said, it just completely disconnected. Not the way it usually does, where the internet just drops out. It My internet was disconnected from itself. It's always like usually when we have our usual freakouts on this channel, the internet will drop out. Like it's disconnected, but it won't like disconnect completely. It'll still be connected to the internet, but it'll just say no connection. But I had to go into my Wi-Fi and like physically reconnect it, because it just like it's like someone went in and and pressed de uh, disconnect. But anyway, now that we're back, let's do this, uh, guys. One of these days, I will have better internet. Better internet, I swear. <laughs> oh, one day, one day. Let's get back to it. Anyway, as <laughs> Any yeah, anyway, as I was saying, Hank Holcomb, the rich, famous, amazing <clears throat> author, <throat> is looking for an assistant. I can already see where this is going, plot-wise. Not a, a huge surprise. What's going to happen? Which is a caveat for all, all these videos, including Darman's, where you, you can see exactly where it's going. It's the most simplistic fucking bullshit. What's with the quiet... <laughs> what was with, was, was with the quiet... gaff? What, what, I, don't know. I found this flyer at the bookstore. They're holding interviews next month downtown. That's amazing. How much does it pay? That's amazing. <laughs> okay, that's the crazy part. It pays $100,000 a year. That's What was that horror sting? Money. Capitalism. <laughs> it's horrifying. <laughs> Chills running up your spine at the thought of making money and being comfortable in your lifestyle. <laughs> Crazy. Yes, okay, so I- Sustainable income! <laughs> I want you to apply because then there's a better chance of one of us getting the job. Ah! I'm gonna do it! Bitch! <laughs> Crazy. Yes, okay, so I want you to apply because then there's a better chance of one of us getting the job. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> oh boy, I'm just taking screen caps. I'm gonna do it. If we both apply and one of us gets the job, we won't have to worry about money anymore. Well, I don't have to worry anymore. about money in general. But if I get this job, then I can get close to him and I can seduce him and then we can have wild nights in bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like she's 12. <laughs> we can have wild nights in bed. <laughs> Sentient DLDO Ashley loves the patriarchy. Real, oh, really? God, calm down. <laughs> master Chuddy, that's your master plan? <laughs> oh my God, you are such a wild woman, Bethany. You are definitely going to hell. <laughs> Miss, Miss Rogers, I mean, Master, uh, do you think that I could apply for the job? Why would you ask her that? She'd be calling you a worthless, crackly coon monkey. <laughs> hey, boss, could you dig us? Could be somebody one day? Like, no, nigger. <laughs> so why you make this in? What, what did you? What do you expect her to say? What do you expect? What What do you expect the next sentence out of her fucking mouth to be? Like, yeah, I can think you could be anything. You dark, crackly, crunchity bitch. <laughs> you crispity, crackity coon. <laughs> oh, what a... <laughs> My fucking internet's gonna magically disconnect in a second. <laughs> exactly, like what? So 
Okay, hang on. Robot Chicken six seventy four ninety nine super chat. I'm genuinely cur I'm genuinely cu curious how much these actors get paid to do these works of art. Not not enough. <laughs> What's so funny? She looks like somebody I've seen on the internet. Who the fuck? Damn it. What's so funny? Hang on, what? hang on a second. Funny. <laughs> Bethany and Ashley laugh. <sighs> I just think this is the funny. I'm just gonna be screen capping this whole video. That's so funny. She looks like somebody I've seen on on YouTube. Somebody who makes skits. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck his name is. Though. What's so funny is that a person like you could never get a job like this. What do you mean? What I mean? What do you mean? Like... Stop asking her questions. <laughs> Stop. Like uh, the dependence on the plot moving forward is it, it like it all depends on uh, how fucking naive she is. Like, uh, why are you laughing at me? She called you a fuck. She called you a monkey earlier. Did you did you not hear that? Like all the every time in I I bet you in every one of these videos, no matter what the subject is, like the like the person like the minority or the black person or whatever will be the most idealistic innocent little puppy dog you ever have seen. Like what racism? <laughs> Even after a fucking racist says point blank to their fucking face, yeah, you're a crispity, crackity, crunchity, nigger coon. I hate you. They'll be like, huh? Why would you say such a thing? <sighs> you need to have a brain to get a job like this. And people like you aren't very smart. <laughs> the application says that Hank wants someone that's great at spelling. Because he's a writer, he needs everything spelled perfect. Wait, what? It's great at spelling. Assistant needed. Get to work with the with best-selling author Hank Holcomb. For for one thing, <coughs> for one thing, they would supply a picture of him. Perfect spelling skills required. Under that, like this is. <laughs> It would be a little bit more professional than this. This is so bad. Jesus. Because he's a writer, he needs everything spelled perfectly. <laughs> I don't think they taught you spelling at your ghetto school, did they? Your ghetto school, did they? <laughs> Unless you're... <sighs> uh, Rob Robot Chicken, 670, 499, Super Chat. Oh my God. These women do a better Joker laugh than Black Joker. They actually do, to be honest. Your dad taught you how to spell. Oh, wait, I forgot. You people don't have those. I know how to spell. Like, this is the most mid-racist shit. They're never gonna say the N-word. They're never gonna say, just randomly, oh, nigger. They're never gonna do that. They, because they, like, these channels, like, they pretend to have balls, but they don't. They can, they know they have to keep it advertiser friendly so they can make their, make bank. And they're not gonna go as far as they as they need to I mean at the same time who knows this this, pro, this video probably is in the yellow because it does have a uh uh like a paid promotion and YouTube is kind of strict about exhibiting racism in your video even if it is uh as something that's advocating against it but still Wolfsbane, two dollar super chat. Black people in movies, racism. What? Oh no! <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Spell monkey. Monkey. M O N K E Y. Very good. But you only know how to spell that because that's your name. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep laughing at me? Because. Bitch, you are a. Maybe she's right. Maybe you do have the brain of a lampshade. Because <laughs> we know you don't have a chance at this job. You spelled that word right, but a four-year-old could spell that. There are thousands of words you'd need to know how to spell. Let's try again. How about 
Ignorant. Ignorant. E wrong. <laughs> Na Why the fuck would you do that? Oh. Now why would you do that? Make her per like the Wow. 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 <laughs> I, wow, Generation Hope. Wow. Let me look at these comments right quick. Just, just for shits and giggles. Timothy Evers. People like Karen need to learn their need to learn their lesson and be respectful to others. The, like, yeah, there are people who genu genuinely take these videos seriously. Unfortunately. I don't think they're from this country, though. No offense. These people are so good at making you hate them. I guess we can expect a part two. Ugh, this whole skit is ridiculous and insulting. No one calls any employer master today. Okay, okay. We got one person who gets it. <clears throat> if someone talked down to me like that, they would be missing, missing some freaking teeth. <laughs> freaking, oh God. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's enough of that. I am losing... The will to live. Uh, <laughs> Jolia Apple Girl, I think. Sorry if I'm uh, mis mispronouncing that. $5 super chat. I'll be honest, that flyer is so vague. I wouldn't be surprised if it happened to the end. Uh, if it, ha it happened, ugh, if it happened to the end with a white van. <laughs> Albatross, $5 super chat. Bruh, as much as I love your show, I literally just can't with this. How did you find this? I want y'all to thank. Um, MSA Joey Joestar for for helping me find this channel. <laughs> Next, hmm, let's try retardation. Retardation. R E E. Re. <laughs> Spell retardation. Re. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can't even rewind. I don't even have the will to rewind it, to be honest. Wrong. Next, how about nuisance? Nuisance. N U S. Uh, wrong again. Like, I'm, like, I'm, assu I'm assuming she gets the job later. And she can't even spell words like ignorant and nuisance. Um, hmm. I think maybe the script should have been looked over again. And we cut out this segment of the race baiting. You know what I mean? Because usually these videos end with, oh, I graduated from Harvard, actually. I'm just doing the cleaning thing because I haven't been making as much money after my husband died. <laughs> That's usually how these things play out. But now she really is uh, kind of slow. Yikes, Generation Hope. Yikes. <laughs> Albatross, this is some Tyler Perry level acting right here. Oh, that's just a disgrace to Tyler Perry. That's so in that's so insulting to him. Malaysia Morgan, uh, $2 Super Chat. It's been going on for too long. Stop. Master Chuddy, $2 Super Chat. Why is she still spelling? Bro, stop. <laughs> oh. But it's not your fault, Simone. Did she just bring out a fucking dictionary? How long does this scene go on? Oh look, it doesn't end until right here. Eight minutes. Early, you'll know how to spell these words. Hmm. How about forensics? Forensics. F. O. Come on, hurry up. Forensics. F. Oh. Come on, faster! Oh. F R No F four What the fuck? Yeah, yo. Fuck this shit. What the hell? Yeah, Darman, you are not Generation Hope. Cause this kinda like negates like the whole outcome of this. Because it's supposed to be like, oh, because you, like I said before, you think it ends with her saying, oh, I was really just a, a Harvard graduate the whole time. Oh, but this kind of negates that. Like, what the fuck? We're fast forwarding past this shit a little bit, at least. You missed a spot. Come on. 
Whatever. How are you even drinking so out of that fucking thing? Where we can thing. have a conversation and not be interrupted by this. Ew. Ugh. Ew. Ugh. Why wouldn't you just like hire a white person <laughs> if you're this fucking bothered by their pre by a black person's presence? You make fucking sense. How can you even be that high class if you don't have white butlers? <laughs> People here on time. She's so poor she can only afford the blacks. <laughs> Oh, uh, Evil Hero Diamond, catch you dollar super chat. Can I call you master? Oh, Jesus Christ. You left your flyer. Perfect spelling skills required. <laughs> oh. Not like, oh, you need to have like, uh, oh, what kind of skills? Uh, fuck. Like, so, it's something else. Like, fuck. Like, just typing skills in general, just spelling skills. Mom! Hey, baby. Mom, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Who's watching this kid? <laughs> Who's watching this kid? Like, oh, it, what? I guess she just lets. Uh, I already forgot the name of that game, but she just lets mobile games raise this kid while she's at work. Okay, sweet. How was your day today? What's this? It's the score for my spelling test. I'm smarter than you, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Baby, you did such a great job. Maybe we can get I'm out of the ghetto you. if you just let me quiz you. Yeah, you <laughs> Baby, how did you get so good at spelling? Remember? Where Not from you. <laughs> the game I was playing this morning? Yeah. Well, that's how. Not from you, my mother. <laughs> I, got, I learned spelling from a mobile game, mother, because you don't raise me properly. And the schools, all they teach is CRT. <laughs> all we have is CRT in school, mommy. They don't teach math or spelling anymore. So now I learn all, I learn all the facts from mobile games. Oh, Jesus. You see, Mom, War Farm Adventures is just a perfect combination of thinking skills and fun. Jesus Christ. Oh, they set up like this horrible, like traumatic, race racist spelling scene just so they could set up an ad for their mobile game. <laughs> Jesus, Lord, Jesus, help! Ooh. Oh, you, you, I'm, I'm logging off. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. C. Thompson, wonder what he'll learn from Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> uh, Grapple R, this is absolutely dystopian. <laughs> Tree Surgeon, I can't spell teacher. Whatever, racist. <laughs> oh, fuck. So how do you play it? Word Farm Adventure allows you to solve cross square puzzles and complete word scrabble missions. How many levels are there? There's so many levels to choose from. There's so many levels! <laughs> and location. You got the farm, the villa, and so many more coming soon. The more. Yeah, where's my phone, you little nigga? <laughs> the more levels you win, the more tasks you complete. Oh boy, Master Chuddy, five dollars super chat. They use an eraser. <laughs> I'm gonna be dead from laughing when when this when the stream is over. I swear, this is so trifling. <laughs> oh, we don't deserve this. What did we do? What did we do? Christopher Ozzy. Uh, Two dollars super chat. Clash of the clans ended the clan. <laughs> Come on, internet, you bitch.
Like my internet's doing that bullshit again. Oh, neutral artist. I just realized Jay's never done an ad for her videos because ain't nobody asking me for. <laughs> my my like I don't think you get asked for that shit until you like reach a hundred k, which I have not reached <laughs> at all yet. Uh, but no, I just uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do product placements and or shit like that on my channel. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because when I edit a video, I want, to, I want it to flow a certain way. We just got when you and when you have to put it like an ad and shit all the time. It's like ah, ah. I don't know. We can quickly restore the villa back to its former glory. Do you think that I could increase my spelling by playing this game? Of course. Oh God. Jesus Christ. I need to increase my spelling, otherwise my white boss is gonna racially- The water does nothing for my hiccup. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> of course, Mom, you'd be amazing at spelling. Well, the only phone I have is this old flip phone. Do you think I could borrow- <laughs> Cause it's a track phone. Oh, I've been there. <laughs> All I got is this old track phone. It only has 25 minutes left on it. Like I said, I've been there. Uh, hang on a sec, guys. Oh. I hate you, internets. Uh, Extreme Gamer 719. Hold on, is this saying that black people can only learn things on a farm? <laughs> I think so. Uh, oh wait, Gerard... Deary, um, spelling is white supremacy. <laughs> okay, the people were sa are saying we're back, so let's get back to it. Let's hurry up before it does it again. Are your smartphone? Of course, Mom. Wait, wait, hang on a second. The mother has a track phone <laughs> with a couple fucking minutes, like a prepaid track phone, and the son has a smartphone. She's got a, a fucking cheap ass flip phone, like track phone, with prepaid minutes. <laughs> and the son has a smartphone. Does that seem right to any of y'all? Does that seem equal? Does that make any fucking sense? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm losing my patience. What? MSA Joey Joe stars. She still has a flip phone, and yet she gave her kid a smart one. What? Yeah, no, like it's just uh, Aaron M. Mufflers be trifling. <laughs> I don't know what that. Uh... Like I've heard of the notion that make make sure your kids have better than what you had, but this is fucking ridiculous. It's like this. Is like look, we both get the smartphone. I need to work. Okay, I need one for work. I need to make sure I, uh, like, I'm able to contact you. Like, how's she gonna send her kid texts, even though he's way too young to get to get and receive texts? Like, I don't... He shouldn't have a phone in the first fucking place. But anyway, let's just assume he's old enough to have a phone. Why the fuck would you get an outdated piece of technology that you can't even communicate with your son, like, with your son with? God, is this, is this, uh, is this based on my father? The scenario? Like, yeah, I'm like, I got my flip phone. Like, it's fine. It's a phone. It's going to give me an A to B. It's got minutes. <laughs> like, there was a time where he refused to get a fucking flip phone. Not a flip phone. A uh, smartphone. Because they, they were just too complicated. 
too fancy. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are you talking about, old man? Uh, Maggie Sky, $2 super chat. Look how they massacred my girl video killing Jay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's get back to it. Be careful and don't break it. I'm gonna break your ass, kid. Well, <laughs> little nigga, like, how did you get a smartphone before me? Because <laughs> you always tell me. Like, does he have a full time job? Is that why she didn't need to be home and take care of him? Because he was out, he was out, um, mining coal or some shit? We don't have no money to buy another one. Of course, and I'll take great care. We don't have no money to buy another one. M are you lecturing me? <laughs> well, be careful with my phone. We ain't got money to buy another one. Who are you down here? <laughs> Is the twist gonna be that he's actually the grown person? And then, like, she's the kid? That's why she can't fucking spell? What is going on? <laughs> hmm. Care of it, okay? Okay. Some this is only video one, by the way. We're halfway through video one. And I'm, my, I already got a headache. <laughs> Cold Warbeck, 499, 499 Super Chat. Keeping up with the racism we've had in this video, he probably stole it. <laughs> Jesus. Phone began to play Word Farm Adventure on her phone. Which oh, and it's got the scan thing again. Which is available now on Android and iOS. <laughs> you can download it for free via the link in the description of this video. If you click the link in the description right now, you'll get a free welcome bonus. <laughs> I'm spelling. <laughs> but you have to click the link in the description for it to work. Over the next month, Simone played Word Farm Adventure every day with her son. <laughs> they completed a lot of levels. Which allowed them They're actually tying this into the plot. I'll show you, Miss Lady. I'ma learn how to spell with my son's smartphone, and I'ma get out of the ghetto, and I'ma show you the black people can persevere. Persevere. That's another big word. <laughs> um. Oh boy. Robot Chicken 670 Super Chat. Those white women may have been right about her. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> English. Uh Crest of Honor 23. This plug is so shameless. 100%. Jesus. I had to get away from the mic when I laughed because that was going to short it out completely. Like, well, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Jesus. Glib facsimile. $5 super chat. Set up a stream labs, yo. So I can throw money at your pro. Oh, God damn it. I forgot to do that. Because I, I do have a stream labs. Hang on. I forgot. <clears throat> Yeah, like I said, hold on, guys. Give me a second. We are back. I'm just going to get this Streamlabs shit set up. Ugh. Okay, for, so now for anyone who wants to spread the love on Streamlabs, the link is right up there. All right, now let's get back to this sludge. Oh, boy. <laughs> This is just, oh, uh, this peak trash. Weirdo with a cello, $5 super chat, next generation help video. Antebellum South, 1860s. How did you overthrow your master? I learned I learned by playing Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, I'm gonna cap that. Why not? Uh, Disco Mancer, $2 super chat, word farm adventure is the end to racism. Oh, V, V Infuso, welcome. Julian Gonzalez, can Susan stop the final, final level, of, <laughs> final level, level blah, the final level of Karen. Uh, John Doe, the average Joe, 199 Super Chat. I think Batwoman would be out of place in these vids. Them to design and build their farm, villa, and many more locations. 
which improved her vocabulary and spelling at an extreme pace. At an extreme pace! Uh, it, 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 it improved her vocabulary and spelling at an improved, at, at, oh, at an extreme pace. Jesus. This is so trifling. <laughs> she had kept a flyer Bethany threw at her face and she now. <laughs> she, why did she, why did she just say she had kept the flyer? Cause that, I don't know. I just thought that was weird. I'm just capping. Capping, capping, capping. Taking screen caps. MSA, Joey Joe Star, $2 Super Chat, Batwoman, season 15, looking great. <laughs> I felt confident that she could get that assistant job. So she called the office and set up an interview. Oh my God, if I had his money. I mean, I already have a lot of money. Simone, what are you doing here? Did you come to this building today to clean the toilets or something? <laughs> <laughs> Did you come here to wipe those two skid marks off your brow? <laughs> Bitch! The fuck is wrong with your eyebrows? Your eyelashes are already a problem, but like, what the fuck is this makeup job? That's tr this is trash. Uh, Cold War Mac 499 Super Chat. Seriously, how do you foul up uh selling a learning app at this juncture where pe where public shooting where i was gonna say public shootings where public schooling is the f least trusted since its inception oh god no actually i'm here to interview for the personal assistant job <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest thing i've heard all year i didn't realize you were so funny mm -hmm. yeah so toilets down the hall to the left i'm serious I already have my interview scheduled, and quite frankly, I have no doubt that I'll be the- Like, since when are black people this fucking patient with racist white people? <laughs> since when? I hate this. I hate this. Like, it's fine to show- I'm not saying that it's not okay to show black people being um, level-headed and patient in heated situations. I'm just saying, this is where it's actually warranted- like, like an like an ass whooping is fucking warranted here. <laughs> it's fine. This ever be beating fucking ass. No one, nobody would care. Like, like, it's fine. I like some cussing out, hair pulling, whatever. It's fine. Perfect candidate for this position. Okay, why are you talking like that? You can stop. <laughs> are you referring to my diction and how articulate I am within my speech? Bitch, you did not learn all this from a fucking game. <laughs> from a fucking old McDonald's spelling app. <laughs> My diction and articulation? If anything, apps make you dumber. <laughs> I don't understand. <sighs> okay, you're scaring me. Mm. A more appropriate word would be flustering you. You do know what that means, right? <laughs> of course. Flustering. To make someone agitated or confused. Yeah. You did not learn that from an app. You did not learn that from that same app. I knew that. Never it's three three letter words for babies. Like, come on. I I I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right now that the like the highest word count the highest letter count in a word and on that app is like five letters tops. There's no way in hell. This <laughs> Nevertheless, my interview is about to begin. So. You would excuse me. All right, girls. We have interviewed every single one of you and given you a test to see who is the best at spelling. And the one with the highest the score will be Hankel's personal assistant. And who better <laughs> to deliver the results than Hankel himself? You, you keep calling him Hanko. <laughs> Uh, really? Ew. Ew. Ew! <laughs> Not just his, his douchey appearance with the AirPods. Like, just... he like uh, Apparently, it's like someone said in the chat that he runs this channel. So the fact that he even, like, wrote himself to be flustered, like, to be, to be fucking... 
like thirsted over. It's just ah, ah, stop it. Christopher Ozin, $5, five dollar super chat. That black guy who plays two word game apps advances to the fourth dimension. Uh, Phantom Glein or Glean, uh, five dollar super chat. Uh, plot twist: She doesn't get the job because her son applied for it as well. It has the has uh the more game experience to overlap. <laughs> it's oh my. Uh, 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 senior fuzzy feet, five dollar super chat. I played these kinds of apps at a certain point. I just moved to random positions and still got words. Like, yeah, they're a fucking scam. Like, it, that game looks like a like a shoddy scam. But anyway. Oh, <laughs> great. <sighs> I'm capping this. That's just, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's a look. All right, settle down, ladies. Now, I want to thank you. Settle down, ladies. <clears throat> You're going to blow off my foundation and my ugly... <laughs> You'll blow out my ear pods and my, uh, my Estee Lauder foundation and my hair gel. Ugh. Mr. D, uh, Mr. DJ Fly High, $2 Super Chat. This must be the prequel to Sneakerella. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Thank you all for coming and taking the time and effort to interview to become my personal assistant. Now, of course, only one of you can get the job. And uh, here are the results. And the winner is, it's a tie between Bethany Rogers. Ah! I knew it. <laughs> I told you, you never had a chance. You don't. And Simone Smith. Ah, yes! <laughs> Why is it a tie? That shouldn't be a fucking tie. There, sh there shouldn't be a tie. Why? Why would there be a tie? Why? I know you have to set up what we saw in the beginning of the video, but like, why? Why? I knew I could do it. Thank you, Word Farm Adventure. <laughs> you did not thank that app like a spurg. <laughs> you did Oh, you cringe lord. I knew I could do it. Thank you, Word Farm Adventure. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I gotta go back a little bit. <laughs> more caps, just just more caps. <laughs> Thank you for trying to Ugh. You spurg. Robot Chicken 670 199 Super Chat. It's a tie. Racism prevails. Oh boy. I'm uh, I'm about through. <laughs> Wait, what time is it? Is it is it midnight yet? I feel like I've been here all night. It's only 9.27. Damn. It's only 9.27. I have more videos to do. Word Farm Adventure. Yes, it's a game that helps you improve your vocabulary and spelling skills. That's how I got so good. Now, of course, congratulations. Why would you say that out loud in front of your employer? I'd be like, yeah, never mind. It's not a tie. I'm picking the white girl. <laughs> Who has a formal education instead of learning spelling and vocabulary off a fucking app? So the both of you, um, but like I said, only one of you can get the job. So I'm gonna have you come in next week to take another test, and of course this one is gonna be a lot harder. And whoever scores the highest gets the job. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to play two apps <laughs> to get this job. <laughs> <sighs> awesome. Well, thank you much for coming. Thank See you later. You. Don't worry, I'll be ready. <laughs> Don't be so sure. There's no way you're going to beat this. 
Sorry, but with Word Farm Adventure, there's no way I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna. Oh wow! With Word Farm Adventure, there's no way I can lose. <laughs> oh, what a simp. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate everyone involved with this video. Every fucking single last one of you. Uh, Mr. G DJ Fly High, $5 Super Chat. Shouldn't there be a rapper uh, or an R&B singer uh, singing in the background in these types of videos? No, that's at the end when the inspirational moment happens. I thought I was going to jail. Then I played Word Farm Adventure. And then I prevailed. Oh! <laughs> Shit! I keep playing this game and improving my spelling skills. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go check out my future office. <laughs> Bitch, you're not allowed back there. <laughs> we don't allow darkies back here, ma'am. Like, what made you think you had that right? <laughs> I'm gonna go check out my future office. What? You wouldn't know that until they assign you to one. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I believe I can farm. Farm adventure. That's how you got so good. <laughs> we'll see how good you are when you don't have it. <laughs> what? <laughs> so that's what led her to break her phone. It's all coming together, people. <laughs> it's all it's it's like a puzzle. It, it's called it's just coming together perfectly. Ominous music. I thought she was already working there when this happened. You're kidding me. I mean, technically, she is trespassing, going all the way back there and shit. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I'm pretty sure uh, when they bring you in for the for another test for another interview, uh, like before that, uh, they don't let you go in the back and start snooping around. So technically, you, you deserve to be arrested for that. <laughs> There's a person sitting there. I saw that. Yeah, why would you leave your phone out? Why? Yeah, there was a person sitting there that they forgot to cut out of the video completely. <sighs> That's an Couldn't tell them to just sit somewhere else. Uh, ye, 499 Super Chat. Oh, it's a happy bear. That's cute. Sen uh, senior Fuzzy Feet, $2 Super Chat. Isn't this whole video false advertising? Uh, yeah, because I'm pretty sure you can't go from being damn near illiterate to working at a, at a high-class firm playing a fucking mobile app. I mean, isn't this illegal in, in, in some way, shape, or form? Like, doesn't this revoke the money they get for this app? I don't know. Mm. Hey, can you believe one of us will be working in this office? <laughs> This office. Wait, hang on. Let's let's look at that place again. Let, let's go back. Go back. No. Uh, yeah. This this is not a fucking office. This is like a break room. <laughs> this is like, uh, either a conference room or a break room. This is not an office. Why do I even bother? <laughs> Bethany, can you believe one of us will be working in this office? Sloan, I just wanted to apologize for the way I was treating you earlier. It wasn't right. And the thing is, you're never going to get this job. Bethany, what are you doing? Give me my phone back. And now that I know how you got so good at spelling, I'm going to get rid of your phone so you can never play Word Farm Adventure. Bethany, again. please give me.
I mean, I could just get the job. Because, and I'm going to get the job because, you know, this is how these things end. Uh, and make enough money to buy a new phone. I don't know uh, why this. Oh, yes, her evil plan to just break her fucking phone. It's already nonsensical that she can get super intellect from a fucking mobile app. I don't think I need to explain that. So, I mean, it's pretty fucked up to break someone's phone. But this is, they're making it seem like this is a diabolical scheme by an evil genius. Fuck out of here. Bring my phone back. It is the only smartphone I have. I know. That's why I'm destroying it. <gasps> Please. You will never have access to technology so again. Because there are two. I mean, you probably have a computer at home. And you can just emulate uh, the app on some kind of like Android emulator. But no, I'm just going to break your phone. You'll never learn to, spe to spell again. Or, you know, you could just fucking uh, read Hooked on Phonics or take a class. I don't know, get on Skillshare. <laughs> like, you know, just look up one of those like free... Uh, like one of those free literacy lessons you can probably find on YouTube. No, but like, yeah, this cell phone is like the end all be like the be all end all <laughs> of your education. Get the fuck out of here. Two types of people in this world people that look like me and deserve to be managers and be in high who end look positions. Like an, who look like an off brand Lim Linda Hamilton. <laughs> and people that look like you. Who deserve to clean toilets and work at fast food places like KFC. Please stop. I am begging you. Now that you can't use your phone, there's Beat her ass. Well, that's right, she can't beat her ass, because that's what she exactly what I'm she was framing tell her for. Everyone what you did, so they will not hire you. And you think they're gonna believe someone who beats up women? Beats up women? Help! Help! Please, she's hurting me! Help! What, what are you talking about? We're both we're both women, you cunt. I can't, I know I've said that already. But now we're at the point where the video is finally, like, we're at the impasse. And yeah, we're both women, you bitch. Help me, help me. Help someone call the cops, please. Bethany, stop that. Uh, stop. Stop. Like, yeah, your naivete is bordering on retardation. Stop it. Help, she's hurting me. Stop saying that. I'm not doing anything to you. <laughs> Ma'am, I need you to step away from her. <laughs> Wait, this it's not what it looks like. I'm actually just She's trying to... Ma'am, please step away with your hands in the air. You don't understand. She was hurting herself and I'm just trying to stop her. That's it. I warned you. <laughs> Ma'am, please calm down. Stop. Get off me. Don't make me don't use excessive force. Anything. Why are you doing this Don't make me use... He is the most half-hearted racist cop <laughs> I've ever seen. I'll use excessive force if you don't stop. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to lethargically kind of sway left and right. <laughs> Calm down. Get off me. <laughs> You're under arrest for assaulting this woman and disobeying a police officer. Okay, but like she fell. Like she deliberately like acted <laughs> being placed on the ground. Wow. That wasn't even like you're not good at making him look like a, a, a cop that's uh, abusing his authority. I'm sorry, you just don't, you're not doing a good job. Stop, you're hurting me. Please stop resisting or it will make me use my taser. Yes, officer, taser. Teach her a lesson to stay in her place. Ma'am, I need you to step away and let me do my job. I am cop. <laughs> Read the label, I am cop. Why does he even, why? See, I think that's the thing. He was too fat. For that shirt, like they bought a shirt too small, so they just let him wear it open. But they forget the fact that cops never fucking walk around looking like that, unless they're stripper gram cops who are really hard up. <laughs> so what happened here? I, I came into the room and then out of nowhere, she started attacking me like a crazy wild monkey. That is not true. Ma'am, please let her finish. 
Do you have any idea why she would attack you? Probably because she was jealous that I was going to win this assistant job, and the only way of beating me would be to hurt me so that I couldn't work. Is this true? No, she's lying. She was the one that was jealous. She knew that ever since I started playing Word From Adventure on my Bitch! <laughs> I know, like, it's it's technically relevant to the story, but don't say that. Just say that she got jealous and then broke your phone in a rage. That's it. Don't tell him about word, word Farm Adventure. <laughs> don't tell him about Word Farm Adventure. Man, I'll beat your fucking ass just for saying that. <laughs> word Farm Adventure, bam! <laughs> Oh, you spurg! Evil hero, diamond cat, five dollars super chat. Does anyone else remember the South Park ep uh, South Park where Cartman gets hooked on monkey phonics? That was so much more realistic than this. V and oh shit, V and Fuso, two dollars super chat. I'd buy that for a dollar or two. Phantom Glyne, five dollars super chat. Between racist cheating and lying, Karen versus naive, slow, and easily baited victim. Hilariously. Uh, the villain is more qualified for the job. <laughs> I know, which is just... Ugh. Jesus. Is my mic going in and out again? See, I think it's my fault because I was yelling again. <laughs> ...phone that it increased my spelling skills. And so she decided to come into this office... He's like, bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> ...office, break my phone so that I wouldn't be able to practice for the next test. Is this true? Of course not. She's a liar, <laughs> just like all the rest of her people. Is this true? Because I can barely fucking believe it, goddamn. They're all liars and criminals. I never touched her phone. She probably just broke it herself so she could frame me and get me in trouble. That's not true. Officer, please, you have to believe me. She broke it and then began to punch herself so that it would look like I was hurting her and get me in trouble. Ma'am, do you know if you're lying to me about breaking the phone, then you're holding Oh, your statement about her punching you is also looked at as a lie. Uh, what the? I know. Hang on, let's rewind that. Lying to me about. Look like I was hurting her and get me in trouble. He's not even looking her direction. He's just like out in space somewhere. Ma'am, do you know if you're lying to me about breaking the phone, then your whole statement about her punching you is also looked at as a lie? I <laughs> no, but I'm not worried about that because I'm telling the truth about everything. Plus, how are you going to prove that I broke the phone? Fuck off! <laughs> Forensics. Oh, going into to, to the memory bank. The memory bank! <laughs> going into my mind palace and... Oh yes, the app says Forensics! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is too much. This is the first video. It's the first fucking video. <laughs> if anything, I hope my stream encourages more people to shit on this channel. <laughs> oh, God. She really went in her mind palace and said forensics. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, she can't even think about words without this app. Wow. Mr. DJ, DJ Fly High, two dollars super chat. I thought that Karen, uh, I thought that Karen is Anna K from the Young Turks. <laughs> wow. Oh Jesus. Opal pal, she's having a brain blast. <laughs> Cold Warmeck, as if you need to spell the damn word to use it. <laughs> right? Oh, God. Forensics. What? Forensics. The scientific test or techniques. Wow, really? Really? It's used in the detection of a crime. And in this case, you breaking my phone. I learned it thanks to Word Farm Adventure. I, I feel like um, I should have invited the, the the guys to help me with this channel. This is a lot. 
There's <laughs> a lot of fuckery at once. Like, we're not... It's just the first video. And it's utterly... It bro it's breaking me. <laughs> it's only like, what? Like, what, only damn near... T like, is it... It's only like nine, like nearly nine forty-five. It, like we just started this shit. Only well, been here for like an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, winky wanky woo. Two pounds super chat. It's okay to be white. <laughs> uh. Ewol Ewol Lipsick, I think. Uh, it's funny that I can't even separate an SJW skit from a hilarious sketch. Uh, I wouldn't really call it an SJW skit because that would imply that there is some kind of thought put, like, not thought, but like. Like, th their aim, I mean, they can grift too, but their aim is to, like, like, educate and put the, like, and be like, pedantic, um, up, uh, pedantic, um, uh, sanct sanctimonious assholes. This is just for profit. This is just to catch eyes that would be, like, like this is just to catch eyes to make money. They don't give a damn about either side of what argument. They just want. They know racism is a hot topic, and it's gonna. It's just, this is gonna draw in eyes and get them money. That's basically all that is. And they have. And they have a lot of fun doing it. I think they purposely make it this fucking bad, um, <clears throat> to make sure people come back and laugh at it. They want. I think they want YouTubers to talk shit about this, so they can just maximize their views. Like it's. It's a very smart business deal. But also, like, uh, to be perfectly fucking honest, I would take this content over a, uh, over what? I would take this fucking content over an SJW's fucking content any day. Like, over Vouch. I, I would take this over Vouch any fucking day. Because at least I'm, like, dying <laughs> from this shit. At least there's some kind of entertainment value. Like, Vouch, he's just like, ugh. Let's, let's, ugh. He's a boil. If you pull the fingerprints that are currently on the phone, you will see that they match Bethany's fingerprints. What? I thought she was going to say, hey, uh, the imprint or like the glass in my phone should actually picked up little slivers of her shoe. But what, you going to buy fucking fingerprints? I mean, okay, but like, ah. The glass would have picked up little, tiny little slivers and shards from her shoe. I thought that's what she was going with, because that makes more sense. There's there's no reason to do that. Ma'am, I need you to be quiet. That actually sounds like a great idea. We will run a <laughs> fingerprint test and I will- I, I could have thought of it, but I, I haven't played Word Farm Adventures, so my brain is not as smart as the black ladies. <laughs> I'll be back with the results within an hour. The officer- Within the hour, okay. Gustav- uh, Markovic, uh, five dollars super chat. You're the best YouTuber. Also, what is your favorite color? Uh, purple, <laughs> purple, black. Um, uh, yeah, purple and black, basically. Dusted for fingerprints and sent them to a lab to get them. You need to use chemicals to dust for finger fingerprints. <laughs> you need a beaker for that. <laughs> we dusted for finger. No, we liquided. We liquided for fingerprints. <laughs> The fuck you need a beaker for? The officer dusted for fingerprints and sent them to a lab to get them examined. It turned out that they were a perfect <sighs> match to Bethany's fingerprints. <laughs> you are going fucking DNA swirls and shit. Why you need all that for fingerprints? That's so weird. like that B-roll footage. Wow, they're going all out for their for their craft. To pay for this, Simone, you hear me? I'll be back to get my vengeance. I <laughs> bet. Even says cop on the back. Wow. I'll be back to get my vengeance. Okay. Don't worry about her. She's a crazy delusional woman. Thank you. And oh, thank you. Hello. <laughs> and this guy out of nowhere. Yes, I know. By the way, how did you get so good at spelling? I mean, which call is it? I can spell words in the craters of your face, you jackass. 
<laughs> that was so mean. But hey, you created this channel. You deserve this shit. Eduardo Alvarez. nine ninety nine Super Chat. Lol, I feel like this is the first time I've ever seen you so distressed from a NOC. Yeah, like, Jesus. It, everything is just so bad. And this is only the first video. We haven't gotten to the second video <laughs> of this channel. Uh, Bite Deity? Uh, or Date? Date? Deity? Deity? Final Super Chat. Next time on Generation Hope, disabled black man learns to defend himself from Karen using shade rage using rage shadow legend. Oh, Master Cuddy Chuddy. Five dollar super chat. I'm sorry, was the cop supposed to represent police per, blah, police brutality? Because he was the most sensible person in this skit. Back to your revenge <laughs> Back to your vengeance what? Yeah, like, the cop is the most reasonable one. I'm actually shocked, but, like, I guess you could argue that he never could he never should have put handcuffs on her in the first place. Jawan Bates, $2 super chat. Uh, Jay Longbone, a goth girl. Nice. <laughs> you graduate from Harvard? No, I actually didn't go to college. I actually... Oh, uh, spelling. <laughs> delusion of How did you get so good at spelling? What college did you go to? <laughs> Spelling College. No, Spelman, Spelman College. That's a real college, right? Or was that just in uh, the Cosby show? <laughs> yes, I'd know. Actually, that makes it funnier. Like the fictional co Spelman College from the Cosby show. I, lear I learned how to spell there. <laughs> By the way, how did you get so good at spelling? I mean, which college did you graduate from? Harvard? No, I Harvard? Harvard? You can spell... You can spell cat. Did you go to Harvard? <laughs> you can spell ignorant. Like, goddamn, you went to an Ivy League school. What the fuck? I want to die. I want to die, 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 die. Evil hero diamond cat word farm adventure equals Harvard. <laughs> I actually didn't go to college. I actually started playing this game called Word Farm Adventure. Fuck you. <laughs> what? Disqualified. Yeah, look at the look in his eye. Like, oh. Like, his eyes are starting to get red and, like, glassy because he realized his horrible mistake. <laughs> Julia. Julia Applegirl. Final Super Chat. The cop is too high to question anything. Clearly racist chick. Meh. A woman talking about an app. Uh, like it's her lord and savior, whatever. <laughs> Rikara Catherine, four ninety nine super chat employer. What what are your some of your skills? What are some skills of yours, Laquisha? Laquisha, I can spell diarrhea. <laughs> no way! I love Word Farm Adventure. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I can't hear you because I'm listening to my super sweet, super expensive AirPods. Is this a super fun way to keep my spelling skills sharp? Fuck you. You a damn liar. And plus, you get to customize like your own farm or villa. And when did you quit? You, <laughs> you can't tell me they're not doing this on purpose to be funny. You can't tell me that. Uh, like whenever you go through the different levels. And this is actually one of the reasons why I became a best-selling writer. Oh Fuck you. Gosh. Yeah. I love With Word Farm Adventure, you can do anything. I want to know how the the, the I want to know what the, the, the what the creators behind this app thought when they saw this shit. I want to know what the hell was in their what the hell was in their mind. <clears throat> and it did that check clear. <laughs> love it. Of course, it's so great. Yeah, I I really it's so love great. it. Well, then you're gonna love this. My penis. What is this? Oh, this is actually a flyer for a word farm adventure contest that I'm hosting. You know Shut up. Stop it. Like, just shameless whoring in this video. Like, yes, daddy. Yes, word farm adventure, daddy. Give me your money, daddy. <laughs> You're my king, daddy. <laughs> so the first prize gets a million dollars. And it's just a way for me to encourage people to, you know, improve their writing and spelling skills. Oh my god. That is a lot of money. Yes, it is. And I think Wait, how much? Oh my god. It's just a way for 
A million dollars! Wow! <laughs> I'm doing a... Uh, I... I'm doing a, a a competition on this lame ass video game app, which I'm pretty sure gets a lot of ads and a lot of um, excuse me, and a, and a lot of um capabilities or levels or behind a paywall. And I'm giving someone a million dollars, and I'm gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, it, it compete for a million dollars. What the fuck? Oh god. Anvilor, sorry, Anvilior, two dollar super chat. Is this an app or a cult? No, I'm heading towards cult. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, my hiccups are back because of course they are. I'm so agitated. <sighs> Joshua Black, five dollars super chat. This is cancer. Most people that play mobile apps are not that bright. <laughs> Love you, JL. Thank you. Ooh, oh my god. Yeah, I need to get rid of these hiccups first. Uh... I love how I can drink a, almost an entire liter of water and still have hiccups. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Tonwin, $5 super chat. I learned how to doctor from Word Farm Adventure. New word, lawsuit. Oh, boy. Weirdo with a cello, $5 super chat. I wasn't looking for most of this, but I saw the open shirt cop and immediately thought porno. Oh, snakes. Why does Jay, hurt, uh, Jay hate Word Farm Adventure? It's a fantastic way to increase your vocabulary and win a million dollars. <laughs> oh, Jesus, God. For me to encourage people to, you know, improve their writing and spelling skills. Oh, my God. That is a lot of money. Yes, it is. And I think you should apply. You know, after what I saw today, you have a really good chance at winning. I will definitely be there. It sounds like a lot of fun. And plus, I can use this for my child's college fun. Yeah, I mean, definitely keep that flyer. Have some more on the table. <sighs> Thank you so much. And that was that didn't even need to be mentioned. I look forward to working with you. Of course. Welcome to the team. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> you won by disqualification. Not even by your own skills, you dumb black. <laughs> She won by disqualification, because the other bitch is going to jail. She didn't win off her own merit, which completely fucks up the entire message of, of the video. It's like the whole, like, brand deal fucked with the whole plot. Hey, look, it's not like uh, modern ho uh, Hollywood movies don't have the same problem. <laughs> <clears throat> A million dollars, huh? I guess it's time for revenge. Oh, fuck. Oh, I saw that. Time for revenge. Wow. Edit editor, what are you... You asleep? What the fuck was that? Now, uh... Now, now Sarah Connor's in the, in the asylum waiting. She's about to hallucinate. She's about to hallucinate... Kyle Reese in a minute. <laughs> oh, shit. Phantom Glein, $5 super chat. What would be the point in investing in a college fund when clearly the education wouldn't equal to playing Word Farm? <laughs> yeah, right. Like, Harvard, that's for bitches. Get on Word Farm Adventure. That's, the, that's what a real education is. Miranda, Miranda Sinistra, uh, oh my God. Miranda uh, Sinistra, Sinistra, Gorsuch is daddy. Oh god. Twenty dollar super chat spellbound was way more fun back in the day. But was it as educational as Word Farm Adventure? That's the question. Get your little fucking like, get your spellbound ass out of here. <laughs> what? Um. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson. And today's lesson was by Word Farm Adventure. <laughs> That's the lesson. What was the lesson? Win shit by a process of elimination? Because that's not the lesson. Not the lesson. You fucked up the lesson because you were so busy trying to get this brain deal off the ground. What the fuck? Oh, Mr. N. Find all the super chat. This has, this has got to be the biggest product placement anybody could witness. This tops Jurassic World Dominion by a long shot. <laughs> oh. Lesson my ass. Get the fuck out of here. And again, a big thank you to Word Farm Adventure for sponsoring today's video. If Did you even need this? The whole video, the whole video's plot was centered around Word Farm Adventure. Was that like to ma like, here's the thing. Here, here's my question. Does the amount of money made from a product placement or a, or a paid promotion depend on how long the ad is? Because if it is, then I then this video makes makes total sense now. Like we have the ad all out throughout the video. The, the like the fucking ad is 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 written into the video's plot. So that should like got that should have got them like ten grand <laughs> right there. I want to know. Someone fucking tell me. Some YouTuber who 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 is experienced with paid promotions. Does the amount of money you make depend on how long the ad is? Or where it is in the video, because then then this video makes perfect sense. Okay, Miranda uh, Sinistra Gorsuch is daddy. Ten dollars super chat. I'm a simp for old white male justices. What can I say? Uh, Disco Mancer, two dollars super chat. Please end me. Oh God, I'm right with you. Kill switch engaged. The next video on this channel has a woman shooting a kid. Uh, we need, I don't know if I want to end it here or not. Let me see if it gets stupider. If you want to Hang check on. them out, the link is in the description. We will also pin it as the first comment in the comment section. Guys, today's lesson was it? so important. It teaches uh, us that yeah, they everyone lied. should be I don't treated see the nothing. same, no matter who they are or the color of their skin. Make sure to share this video with all your family and friends. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Because here at Generation Hope, we're trying to make the world a better place, one story at a time. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, really? Martha, get out of my- Is there a part two to that? I, I would doubt. I would doubt it. I would doubt it, but let's see. Let me look around. Where the fuck did I find it? Oh, uh, there it is. So... Hmm. I don't think I see a part two. All right, we need to even that out. Let's go from from racism to sexism. Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> Tonwin, two dollars super chat. Holy crap! It's the low budget emoji movie. <laughs> Hang on, let's see. What we, what we got? We got Evil Foster Mother. But I don't know about that. Macho Dad rejects son for wearing makeup. There's just so many bangers here. I mean, you all saw the last video. I mean, you see how... You see, all saw how I died. <laughs> we all died together, actually. You, you saw it. Jesus. Uh, it's like it's like trying to pick it's like trying not to die in a minefield it's like like trying like walk safely through a minefield but like there's no field it's just mines there's no way you can not die because it's like it's all mines eduardo alvarez 499 super chat you missed my previous super chat oh no it might have been way back because I think it's way, way back. Damn. I'm sorry. That might have been when either the internet went out or something. But yeah, I'm really sorry, Eduardo. That might have, like I said, it might have been when my internet went out. Spoiled kid shames mother. 
You know what? Let's go to nine-year-old kid shames millionaire mother. That'd be funny. <laughs> like some on some evil Richie Rich shit. <laughs> Martha, get out of my house. I can't believe you. Ugh. Ooh, that's that tan, that spray tan. Ugh. That's that cop from the other video, I think. I'm not entirely positive, but I think that's him. Martha, get out of my house. And what the fuck are you wearing? What is this? <laughs> like, everything is like, it's like you came from, like, the late 90s. Or the mid 90s. And you traveled to the future, to like the 2020s. <laughs> Martha, get out of my house! I can't believe you embarrassed uh, me in front of all house. of these people. Uh, oh, so she's done. To uh, me I cannot believe you embarrassed. <laughs> fuck! This is a half-hearted hair pull. Me like that. Shut up and let her go! Yeah, that's another cap. That's another cap. Oh, Lord. What? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're just holding the kid's cheeks, not his ears. What did you say to me? I told you to shut up and let her go. Kevin, you listen to no, me. No, you listen to me. <laughs> Is this how all these videos are going to start? With one... Like, with a fucking minority woman on the ground, on her knees, washing some shit, and some white lady water doing whatever? Now, Martha, I want this place to be spotless. Martha! My birthday party is tomorrow, and I want everything to be perfect. Yes, Miss Richardson. Don't worry. Everything in this apartment will be clean to perfection. Well, I hope so. Because if I find one... Oh, here we go. Thing. And this oh my god, the th <laughs> John Carpenter's The Thing, the theme song just started playing. <laughs> doom, doom. Doom, and doom. I'm gonna send you back to your dirty, filthy, disgusting third world country. Oh, well, just, uh, oh, just the thought of your disgusting third world country. Oh, oh. I mean, I'll fuck, like, some hot Latino boy from your country, but, like, it's just still, it's so disgusting. What's the name of that again? Montequito? Burrito? It's Mexico, Miss Richardson. Like, oh, they, they take the racism with such, with, with such good humor. <laughs> I hate this shit. It's actually a really beautiful country with some amazing people. Yeah, sure, you have your dirty parts, but that's just like in any country. There's dirty parts and there's clean parts. Well, if you're- Like your gooch! If Mexico <laughs> is so great, then why did you hop across the border to get here? Miss Richardson, I didn't hop over any border. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. What I meant to say was, why did you- I thought she was going to bash her over the head with that. <laughs> you swim across the river illegally to get here. Wait a minute, is that- Hang on, back up, back up. I gotta say, say something. That's one of their videos playing in the background. Oh God, you can see their, you can see their channel name. Oh, so fucking tacky. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? You know that like, it's your floor and you're dirtying it up. You're fucking it up, which. Like, yeah, it, it sucks for her because she's the one cleaning it up. But she's like, why the fuck would you do that? Uh, Excuse me. You have to walk past that shit. You fucking heifer. What are you doing? <laughs> Look, your back is still wet. Miss Richardson, why did you do that? Come on. I think it's obvious why. See, look, it's, <laughs> she's watching their videos in the back. You th so, like, you think she would learn valuable lessons about how not to be racist. To her, to the help. But she doesn't. That means she's super extra evil. Oh, you can't tell whore. me you can't take a joke. Here, let me help you clean it up. Ah, oh, that hurts. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, you know, you're, you need to get your skull checked for soft spots. I don't know. 
Sorry, my hand slipped. Hey, Marco. Are you okay? Oh, she's fine. She's fine, honey. She just bumped the table and, and the glass of water fell on her. Uh, isn't that right, Martha? The glass of water that's in my hand. It's not even glass. It's actually plastic. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Kevin. I was just being clumsy and I didn't look where I was going. Oh, okay. Well, Mom, I'm all ready for school. Great. The chauffeur's waiting in the lobby. I'm all ready for school? I thought you just came from school. Why the, why the fuck did... That doesn't look like that's a room. That looks like that's the front door. Why was... <laughs> why you think that they would do a better job of just fil of filming this shit and planning it out? To show the kid walking down the fucking hallway. Is that so hard? Is that is that difficult? Uh, how much how like how much more money would it take to show a child walking down the hallway? CC Mag, five dollars super chat, rich white, <laughs> BBW punishes her Hispanic maid, uncensored. Also, please tell me that we're gonna watch the whipping lady one. Not, we're not watching. Well, I guess you weren't here in, in the beginning of the stream, but we're not watching it tonight. But I am making a dedicated video on it. I'm scripting it right now. And I think I'm gonna try to have it out by next week, so look out for that. But uh, but we are talking about the rest of the channel that it came from. For you, Kevin, are you excited about your birthday? Yes, I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> We're gonna play pin the tail on the beater. Good. Did you remember to invite the popular kids to your party? That's not creepy. <laughs> Did you, did you did you remember to invite Lucas that you know that fine little uh that fine little that fine little ninth grader to your party? He's filling in real nice. Oh fuck. Well, I don't really want everyone. That's just weird. It's just fucking weird. To come. Plus, I don't know most of those kids, so I only invited my He's right he's reading a, a cute card closest and best friends. Oh, being selective about people that are around you. That's a great way to become an excellent businessman. But I don't really want to be a... Richardson Enterprise. Well, see you later, Mom, and see you at the party, Martha. See ya. Excuse me, sir. Wait, Kevin. I'll be the one doing the sweeping. Why would you see... And cleaning up all your drool. Meet Martha at the party? Well, because I invited her. She's one of my best friends. Stop reading the cue card, kid. What? <laughs> How? Well, since she always cleans the house, me and her have gotten really close. And plus, she's always helping me with my homework. She's asking how my day is going. And she tells me the most amazing stories about her life in Mexico. She's basically you, but browner and actually is a fucking mother. <laughs> and not a fucking heifer. <laughs> Best friends? Anyways. Uh, isn't this like where the lesson should be? Isn't this like the end of the video right here? This is usually where this, like it kicks in. Where it's like, oh, she makes a realization that, oh no, I've been, been neglecting my baby. Bye, Mom. I don't want to be late for school. Bye, Martha. See ya. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm going to have to call you back, okay? Uh, thanks. Bye-bye. <sighs> so... You and my son are best friends. Yes, he's a very smart boy, and he loves reading books, especially... Zip it. <laughs> Zip it. That fucking impact noise. <sighs> Look, if you're going to come to this party, you're going to come dressed nice and decent. There are important people coming to this party. There are important people coming to this children's birthday party. Okay, <laughs> one of them being my lap band surgeon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm still trying to get a, I'm still trying to get money back on the on the warranty for the last one I popped open. All right, <laughs> so make sure you get, you bring your A game, Beaner. <laughs> you can't come wearing these filthy rags. You call it clothes. Filthy rags. You get that shit from Walmart. What are you talking about? <laughs> It'll embarrass me in front of all of the parents. You got that? Yes, Miss Richardson. But most importantly, you will bring a gift. Everyone that comes to this party brings a gift. 
Oh, don't worry. I got one for him. <laughs> Let me guess, a sombrero or some chanclas or maybe even uh, a chupacabra action figurine? Um, no. <laughs> because I don't want my party ruined by some poor, dumb present. These. I mean, oh, you already make fun of her for being poor. Like, what makes you think she's gonna come? Like, you think she's gonna come to the fucking party with a Cartier, uh, like, with a fucking Cartier bicycle seat or something? What the fuck? Evil Hero Diamond Cat two dollars super chat. Why hasn't anyone mentioned Word Farm Adventure? <laughs> oh no, this is one. I think this is one meme. This it's gonna take a while for a while to go away on my channel. These kids that are invited to this party are bringing their parents, and their parents are very rich and powerful. And they, yeah, these rich and powerful parents are coming to my YouTube or coming to my my mediocre fucking apartment building. <laughs> like this is not the house of a rich person. It's it's the it's it's the apartment of someone who's they they make decent money. <laughs> and I want to make the best impression I can. Don't worry, I got him something good. If you embarrass me at this party, I will fire you. You got that? Yes, Miss Richardson. Good. I pointed out now, that one freckle. Clean this mess up. <laughs> what mess? This one. <laughs> I caused something. I caused a mess that would cause you like a minute of sweeping. Okay. <laughs> okay, that them shits look good. Those little ice. I, I I'm th I think those are ice cream sandwiches in the back. Yeah, millionaires. <laughs> Look at this, look at this fucking prominent millionaire right here. <laughs> George Lopez. <laughs> Is the time to open presents yet? I want to see who bought the most expensive gift. <laughs> I want to see who bought the most expensive gift. I know I bought that boy a Tesla, a Tesla, a Tesla tricycle. <laughs> I mean, it does have like a little, uh, I did that. He didn't really solve the freezing problem yet or the explosion that happens in the summer, but like, you know, it's expensive and that's what's important. <laughs> oh shit. Damn it. Not yet. My dumb cleaning lady is late. I swear I am this close to firing her. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> you cunt. <laughs> Ooh, okay, you're a bitch. <laughs> it's a gift. Not yet. My dumb cleaning lady is late. I swear I am this close to firing her. Ooh, okay. <laughs> hey guys, sorry I'm late. My car broke down, so I had to walk all the way over here. Poor immigrants. Always making excuses as to why you can't arrive somewhere on time. Did you even bring a present? I mean, they arrive over the border on time. <laughs> Sometimes early, you know, way too early, before they're uh, they, you know, they're legal. <laughs> oh Lord! Oh. How evil. King of $5 Super Chat. Kevin needs a haircut for his birthday. Yeah, he does. Yes, it's right here. Good. I hope It's right here for the camera. And not for you who's standing, standing right in front of me. It's not cheap and embarrassing. I think she has two different colored eyes. Kevin? Do you have heterochromia? Here. All right, everyone. <laughs> Had a hug. It's time to open presents. Yay! Okay, I think it was just the lighting. I get first. I want to start this party with a bang. Okay, mom. All right, go get that big one. Go get that big one, and then he just hugs her again. <laughs> I meant your toys, you little fucker. <laughs> oh, wow. A briefcase. Not wow. Just any briefcase. It's an Italian leather Maurice briefcase.
Oh my god, this is literally like the Homer Simpson scenario where Homer buys um Marge a, a bowling ball, but he doesn't buy it for her. It's really for him. Like he's so fucking selfish. And then <laughs> she uses the uh, the bowling ball to spite him. Yes, yeah, is the situation. You bought that fucking leather case for you, not for that boy. How the fuck is you do that? <laughs> It's worth more than $15,000. You spent $15,000 on that boy? Are you on crack? <laughs> Unless it's tuition for college. I don't understand. What? What? I got it because I knew you want to be a businessman. Thanks, Mom. I. Oh, yeah. Don't give me a toy briefcase. Give me a real ass 15 grand premium leather briefcase that I can't even fucking carry. Oh, Fuck you. Appreciate it. You're welcome, honey. You dumb you bitch. Like it. <laughs> if, even George Lopez is like, why the fuck? We He's perplexed. The kid, she's rolling her eyes and the mom is just like, she's somewhere else. Let's just get this over. For the next one, let's open Martha's gift. Now, I need you to remember something. Martha's poor, okay? <laughs> Martha's poor. Boom. Her gift probably isn't going to be as nice as mine, but I need you to pretend, okay? Okay. Martha, this better be good. Wow. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much, Martha. You're welcome. Oh, and if you look inside, you'll see a book. A book? A you know this little bastard can't read? I don't teach him shit. Freaking book? I told you not to bring anything cheap or embarrassing to this party. I uh, the cheap or embarrassing, but they, but they typed it cheaper. I told you not to bring anything cheap or embarrassing. Cheap or embarrassing, but it says cheaper embarrassing. It, are these caps? Are these uh? Are these captions automated? Or did the editor just mishear her? Wow, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. ...to this party. How much is it? Fifteen dollars? Fifteen measly dollars? It's a book, bitch. Like, what the fuck you... Don't bring anything cheap or embarrassing. Like, like, ugh. You'd think, like, cheap looking, you know, pliable, like a piece of shit. But it's a book. It's a brand new book. What the fuck? Is that all my son is worth to you? A book? Something that he can learn from? That's all he's worth to you? You didn't give him an overexpensive piece of leather? Bitch! Mom, I really like it. Kevin, look, honey, you don't have to pretend. I know this is a horrible gift. Everyone does. But if she really cared about you, she wouldn't get you a poor, dumb, cheap gift like this. Martha, get out of my house. I can't believe you embarrassed me in front of all of these people. Wow, she assaulted her over this? Oh, wow. <laughs> I guess the baby saw the briefcase and was like, oh. I can sleep on that. <laughs> I can't believe you embarrass me in front of all of these people. Yeah, that the guy who plays the cop and like he doesn't give a shit. It looks like either he's blowing a kiss or doing like that Native American thing. <laughs> like this is all this is all over the place. Front of all of it's not as infuriating and as bad as the first one, though. The first one was pure art. These people. Uh, oh, so she's she's like, what the fuck? What the fuck is she doing? She's like, <laughs> I can't believe you embarrass me like that. Shut up and let her go. What did you say to me? I told you to shut up and let her go. Kevin, you listen to no, me. No, you listen to me. I liked Martha's gift. And do you know why? 
Exactly. You don't. That's because you're trying to impress people who don't even like you or do your work. If you want to talk about <laughs> horrible gifts... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, boy. Some people who don't care about me. Here's one. But Kevin, I thought you liked it. I hate it. I was just trying not to hurt your feelings. But why would you hate it? You always wanted to be a businessman and run. And it's five, it's fifteen thousand dollars. Things that cost a lot of money are naturally better than stupid old educational fifteen dollar books by established authors. Run <laughs> your own company. No, mom, that's your dream. I want to be a writer. He's looking down at the cue card. And if you paid attention to me, you. I wish I could see in the TV whether or not like. People were holding cue cards. To me, you would know. Yeah, I can't see. Yeah. But Martha knew that. That's why she gave me the newest book from my favorite author in the whole wide world, Stephen King. And if you checked inside, it's signed by him to you. Oh my God, and it's signed by him. To Kevin. Maybe <laughs> it's signed by him. Yeah, it definitely looks like his head. <laughs> That's definitely, oh, this is definitely his handwriting. I want to see how different, like, why would he write that in that handwriting, but then sign it in, like, cursive? I don't get that. I feel like maybe that's, like, a PNG. Like, they put on, like, they, like they took a page. They went to Kinko's, got a PNG of Stephen King's uh, uh, signature. And just plastered it on a piece of paper and printed it out. <laughs> because you can tell, like, the ink doesn't match up on either of these. May your dream to become the best writer in the world come true. P.S. You have an amazing friend. She waited 12 hours in line <laughs> to see me. Thank you so much, Martha. Yes. When did you find the time to wait 12 hours for a signature? Like you, you make like you're Latino. You, like all you do is work. <laughs> Twelve hours. Bitch. Get at it. Like it's not even believable. Welcome, Kevin. Oh my. Actually, it's funny. It's not believable for anybody who has to work really hard for money. Like who's working like low end a low end job to wait twelve hours for a fucking signature. That's not. That's not believable. It's not believable. Martha, I'm so. Sorry for how I treated you. I'm suddenly not a sociopath anymore. I'm so sorry. I guess I got lost in trying to impress others. Yeah, that's not all you got lost in, bitch. <laughs> like, you were, like, like, you're flat out fucking racist. Oh, I was so wrapped up in impressing others, I was just suddenly racist. I don't know what the hell was going on. <clears throat> to make you feel small so I could feel big. I let my <laughs> You should already feel big. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. John Doe, the average Joe. Uh, four ninety nine super chat. So this vid depicts minorities having no backbone and need ten year old kids to stand up for them. Such such a progressive message, right? <laughs> Jesus. Kai Fujimoto, I mean, nine-year-old me liked Nora Roberts' books, even though I didn't completely understand most of the words. Multi, Multi-Pentagon? Martha, I know I treated you like shit and beat you up in front of our family, our, fa our families, but I'm really sorry about what I've done. We should be friends now. <laughs> oh, Jake, Bob, and Ryan, you're already huge. <laughs> Securities of wanting to be accepted get the best of me so, so you're also racist <laughs> like that's these are separate issues like you being mean and like not liking poor people okay fine but like what about the racism <laughs> I made fun of this is separate thing so that no one could see the real me the broken the me. real me who's uh, basically a big old bag of gravel <laughs> deep down inside and Kevin, I'm so sorry for not spending more time with you 
and spending so much time at work. I guess I thought that if I spent my, my work time is away like from watching you, Generation Hope videos in a in a pantsuit. <laughs> that's that's her job. Evil Hero Diamond Cat, two dollar super chat, uh, zero out of ten. Nobody talked about Word Farm <laughs> Word Farm Adventure. Bad. Uh, Jolie Apple Girl. She still wasted 15k on a bag. Yes, she did. That she did. <laughs> At work that you wouldn't see the real me and how horrible of a mother I am. That's why I use work as an excuse not to get close to you. So, I understand if y'all don't want to forgive me. But I want to say from the bottom of my heart how sorry I am. We forgive you. Now come on. And then they both take out two AKs and shoot her. <laughs> and they start their own uh uh they, they start their own heroin cartel. <laughs> I don't know why I came up with that. <laughs> uh Tonwin, two dollar super chat, it's mon uh Monday Matt's Monday and Matt's twin sister. Come on, Miss Richardson, bring it over here. Bring it over here. Bring it over here, you bitch. <laughs> And then he just, just, she just stabs her. <laughs> that day, Mrs. Richardson changed into a new person. She of course, because it only, like, it takes a child yelling. A, ch a child yelling. To be like, oh, I'm real sorry for being racist, abusive, and a total narcissistic bitch who's, who's, who's too concerned with whether, whether or not people are rich. She no longer treats. Like, for someone my age, that would actually take a little while. Like, maybe, like, a, a serious tragedy or, like, years of therapy to get over. But, hey, fuck it. It's a Generation Hope video. So, yeah, I got it over, like, in a minute. <laughs> Martha, with disrespect, and made sure to let her know how much she appreciated her hard work. Let Mrs. this Richardson whole know. also spent as much time as she could with her son, realizing the family was way more important than work. It is very important that we treat each other with love and respect, and that we realize that family matters more than money. Make Evil sure mom. Wait, wait, wait. Evil mom poisons 15-year-old daughter to scam GoFundMe money. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's next. Fuck it. That's next. I don't have to stick, stand by and watch this shit. That's next. Okay, hang on a second. Honey, what's going on? Are you okay? God damn it. Shut up, mother. I know all about your lies. Amanda, show me. <laughs> Shut up, mother. You can't interrupt our sapphic relationship. <laughs> uh, Daniel Brito, 199 Super Chat, heroin cartel. <laughs> Honey, what's going on? Are you okay? Shut up, mother. I know all about your lies. Amanda, show me the poison you've been using to keep me sick. Open the door, you little... I take care of you for months, and this is how you repay me? Open the door right now! Sinister sounds. Trey claddles. Like, what? What's the point? Um, I can clearly see that. You putting venom in her fucking water? <laughs> the fucking... It's just a vial that says poison. Oh, God. It's... Com the water's completely black now. <laughs> did she... What did she... Wait, what did she... What liquid did she ask for? Because I'm pretty sure, like, oh, vial of poison in water. And now we've got what? Um, well, well, we got, like, black cherry, uh, black cherry Dr. Pepper? Or, like, what? What is that? Morning, honey. Are you so soon? Oh, look at that prehistoric printer behind her. Is that a printer? Or is that a fax machine? What is that? Yeah, look at that. It's <laughs> just a big old box. <laughs> Thank you, Mom, but I don't feel so good today. 
I actually feel worse. I don't understand. We've been following everything the doctor told us. Well, honey, things take time. You have to be patient. I'll have some soup. Have some murder soup. But it's been almost That ain't enough. fucking soup. <laughs> What is a fucking yellow goop? <laughs> okay, that's a cap. I don't know why, it just is. But it's been almost two months. I'm getting worse every day. I understand, baby, but let's not forget the most important part. We have each other, and I'll always take care of you. I can't even believe that's poison, though, because, like, what is it? <laughs> Forget it. Why does it always taste so funny? Well, it's a side effect of your condition. Remember your tongue just, you grow extra taste buds, and those taste buds taste like armpits and medicine <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> they, they taste like armpit and rat poison. That's just a part of your condition. The doctor said things would start tasting funny. I love you, honey. There's nothing I wouldn't do to help you get better. I don't know how I got so lucky and got the best mother in the world. You're so sweet. Now drink up. She already, like, damn near gulped the whole thing down. This is only like a fucking... Hang on. Uh, excuse me. There's only, like, a gulp of fucking poison left in there. She was drinking... Like, there were some gulps in between shots. You let me know if you need anything else, okay? Okay. Right. <laughs> Ominous music plays. The <laughs> moor. Hey guys, thank you so much for your support. Uh, Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> so y'all just could just could be damned to, to put it on top. Of, oh my god, just couldn't be damned to put it on top of the fucking video. Excuse me. <clears throat> we reached our goal of fifty k. Oh, and this is like the there's so much shit shit wrong. Plus, you I don't think you'd see this recording this button, but okay. <clears throat> oh, these videos are killing me. We reached our goal of $50,000, but unfortunately, Emily is getting sicker and it's going to take more more treatment, more medicine, more hospital bills. <sighs> unfortunately, we're going to have to raise the goal to $200,000. Yeah, she's getting sicker. We need uh two hundred. <laughs> we need one hundred forty-five thousand more dollars <laughs> because she she just keeps getting sicker. Guys, give us more monies, and then she <laughs> stops filming. Okay. Almost didn't say what treatment she needed. She just said, "Oh, she's dying more, more money." <laughs> Two hours later. A few more dollars. <laughs> Finally get that Botox that I've been wanting. Uh, your forehead's plenty shiny and, and tight already. <laughs> no job. If anything, you need it for your, to grow in your eyebrows. What the fuck? <laughs> grow in your eyebrows properly with some Botox. Uh, MSA, Joey Joestar, $2 Super Chat. The GoFundMe is sponsored by Worth. Farm adventure. Oh boy, Mister N. Uh, how dare these uh, sticklers manipulate humanitarians this way? Sinister-looking kid. What's the point of poisoning her if she's not even going to show her in the video? <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe like. 
I don't know. I'm trying to figure out their law. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be, but I'm trying to come up with some kind of law. It's like po slowly poisons her and it, like gets her in on the grift, but like low key. <laughs> like you gotta be believe in the grift, but I don't want to have to manipulate you and do all that shit. So I'll just slowly kill you. <laughs> Uh, the fucking internet. Fucking fuck fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, seems fine. I opened up so a window. Tesla. A Tesla? Look, I've, I, like, recently someone bought a Tesla and, uh, in dur like, they had a Tesla in the wintertime and the, ha alright, hang on, hang on. Let me, let's get back to green first. Alright, anyway. She's talking about how she wants to buy a Tesla, bitch. I saw someone who bought a Tesla on Twitter. And, uh, apparently, the handle of the car freezes, like, the handle of the car freezes shut. It, like, freezes, like, to the car. To the point where you can't fucking open it. And you need to turn on, like, a heating system or, like, use a control, like, use a remote to, to open it back up. It's fucking ridiculous. So, you know, yeah, the fact that you even want a Tesla shows that you were bad with money. <laughs> House. <sighs> Keeping my daughter sick is the best idea I've ever had. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <sighs> Keeping my daughter sick is the best idea. <laughs> Cabinet. <laughs> Keeping my daughter sick is the best idea I've ever had. I've ever had. How are you doing, Mrs. Anderson? I just saw your post on Mrs. Anderson. Anderson. Give her some Hello. Oh, you're so considerate. That's very Why is she so goddamn shiny? That's sweet. Um Look how shiny she is. She looks like a fucking orange. <laughs> like without the orange color. She has the, the skin texture and the shininess of an orange. But uh Emily's resting right now. And um yeah, she can't see anybody. Uh, but it will only take a minute. I haven't seen her in months. And since she is not on social media anymore, she's probably wondering where her friends are. Oh, well, I understand, but, um, but she really does need a rest. I'll let her know you stop by, though. Well, can you at least give her this? Me and all her friends wanted to get her the stuffed animal she's always wanted. Oh, that's so They put sweet. a lot of, of emphasis sure on that ring. It. Um, she'll be so happy when she sees this. <laughs> is that the new Tiffany & Co. ring? Is that the new Tiffany and Tiffany and Co <laughs> Oh my god, is that the new Tiffany and Co ring? Like, number one, how the fuck would you know that? Who the hell is look I don't Maybe it's because I'm not into jewelry like that. That I'm not like checking for like, oh, I gotta check the Tiffany website to see if their new rings are in. But how the fuck do you know that? Oh it was on sale. It was on sale. Uh, Tiffany it was on sale at Tiffany's. Tiffany was on sale. Do you expect me to buy that? Do you expect anyone to buy that? Oh boy. Oh, Extreme Gamer 719. I saw someone blow up a Tesla because the battery died. Damn. Bargain I couldn't pass up. Even if it was on sale, that ring is usually $20,000. <laughs> How can you be spending money like that? And then asking people to help you with Emily's medical bills. <laughs> she just puts it all together right there. Oh, uh -huh. a real whiz, this one. <laughs> and she's like, I'm gonna kill your ass. <laughs> like, bitch, you know too much. You, you're just too goddamn smart. <sighs> you know, I get so stressed out. Take care of the little brat all day. <laughs> I just, you know, shopping calms me, and uh, when I feel better, I can make Emily feel better. Cause like a fucking, a real G, a real uh, scammer would make sure they're not seen with their expensive shit until the coast is clear. You know what I mean? You you like you, you showed up at the door in your Tiffany Co ring. <laughs> I want to see Emily right now. Like I said, you can't. Uh, she's resting. Don't you even care about Emily? <laughs> Don't you even 
care about Emily? Like you're rushing it into her house to her aid? Do you fucking even care about her? <laughs> you know what? My excuses and my logic, they all sounded really good in my head. And now that I'm saying them out loud, I don't know. Goodbye. This is an expensive. <laughs> she doesn't. What? What's the point of? What is the point of taking her fucking like her gift away from her? What's the point of that? It's just about the grief, right? I mean, I know you're slowly killing this girl, but still, like, there's supposed to be some kind of like delusion, like, like, there's some, there's usually like a type of delusion with the mothers in this situation. Like, I'm helping us, or it's some kind of like. Um, Munchausen's by proxy, but she's just like, no, nah, I'm ki slowly. Ki I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to think this is about a little bit more than money. She's got some vendetta against her own daughter. She doesn't need any more friends. She doesn't need any friends. <laughs> It'll just ruin what I have going on. <laughs> also, like talking to yourself like that, they're just gonna ruin everything. She doesn't need friends. <laughs> Mom, who was that? Oh. It was just some mouthy whore. Some guy trying to sell his <laughs> crypto or something. What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So someone, there are door-to-door -door crypto salesmen now? <laughs> hey, y'all ever get a knock at the door? Yeah, uh, like, <laughs> y'all usually get a knock at the door. Yeah, people usually get visits from, like, the milkman. Uh, the paper boy, and now we have like the crypto man. The crypto man, he comes to the door, knocks on the door, like, "Hey, bro, get onto this new form of currency." <laughs> like, no. What is what's the what kind of her excuses are so dog shit? Oh, Tanwin, two dollars super chat, making bets now. Daughter's gonna forgive the mother. Uh, God, I hope not. Please, no. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Uh, James... James Ailis, I think? Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Oh, those door-to-door -door crypto salesmen. <laughs> Master Chuddy. Who goes door-to-door -to, -door to sell crypto? A very dedicated crypto salesman. <laughs> would you like to... Tiramisu, tiramisu screw. Uh, would you like to buy some crypto, ma'am? <laughs> the NFT man. The crypto man. The milk man. <laughs> The mailman. <laughs> this is all normal shit. Oh, I thought it was gonna be one of my friends. I don't understand why they haven't come see me, especially now that I need them the most. Mom, can I please use my phone to call them? I can't, honey. Your your ailments uh, d disallow you to use phones. You know the brain waves, the five G. It's gonna kill your brain. The doctor said no technology items. It could affect your condition. Bit. <laughs> I was kidding. I was kidding. Imagine like coming up with like like the most outlandish fucking scenario, and they actually use it. <laughs> what? Yeah, that means no phones, no computers. But it'll only take me a few seconds to read my messages. Honey, I told you, I check your phone every day. No calls, no text messages, especially from that girl, Amanda. I always thought that me and Amanda were like sisters. We've always been there for each other. Honey, if she was really your friend, she'd come by and visit you. She'd knock on the door, bring you a gift. A gift that I will hastily throw away because it's not, because it's not from Tiffany and Co. Sometimes the people we love the most are the people that care the least about us. <laughs> I think what you mean is uh, sometimes the ones we love hurt us the most. I don't know. Like, the, how she said it here. Like, how it was said here, which is fucking weird. Gift. Sometimes the people we love the most are the people that care the least about us. <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't like the way she said that. Joshua Black, $5 Super Chat. These videos, the redemption arc for the characters that are supposed to learn a lesson. 
like poisoning your daughter is evil and you should be shot. <laughs> and from what it looks like, you didn't really have any friends. You nerd. You dead nerd. <laughs> oh, honey. I'm the only friend you need. Why are you smiling? After saying some shit like that. Like, this is so, whatever, like, uh, she's in the scene with the daughter, it's kind of believable. Like, her half, her backhanded fucking comments. <laughs> like, even when she's there crying, she's still kind of, like, got a smile on her face because she's going to masturbate up to all the money she's going to get from her death. I love you so much, Mom. I don't know what my life would be without you. Mom, you're scratching me with your <laughs> Tiffany and Co. ring. I'm bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> the diamond heart. Only need a baby. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now, I have to go to the store no, and get I'm some out. medicine. But I'll be back in ten minutes, okay? Okay. She just gives her Vicks ever like the, she just gives her Vicks vapor rub and and, and Robitussin every fucking day. Not chemotherapy like she needs. Can you please give me that cereal I like, the chocolate flavor one? Honey, I told you before, you can't be spending money like that. <laughs> I can't spend two dollars on some fucking cereal. Well, not two dollars. It's actually way more expensive than that now. But I'm just saying, you got a couple bucks, nah. We can't spend money like that now. We can spend money on like large ass fifty uh, inch screens like the one behind me. But you know, <laughs> cereal. <laughs> okay, Rockefeller. <laughs> a coupon on this magazine. It takes two dollars off. Honey, I want to. I really do. Why are you depriving her of cereal? What is the fucking point? What's the point? It's cereal. How much how much deception? Like you're adding on unnecessary deception. It's just fucking cereal. Now I would understand if she wants to go to like a concert or something. I understand if she wants to go to a concert or something and the tickets were like a couple hundred dollars. Okay, cool, fine. But it's cereal. It's cereal. <laughs> Dear God, woman. Dear Jesus. Oh, hang on a sec. <laughs> Honey, I want to feed you. I really do, but die. <laughs> Please. But Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put my foot down on this one. We need to save all the money we can. And that means not wasting it on things that we don't need to survive. You're right, Mom. I'm pretty sure you need food to survive, you deviant bitch. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry I'm such a spoiled brat. <laughs> what? I should be thankful that we eat oatmeal every day. <laughs> I should be thankful that we eat oatmeal every day, that we eat gruel every day. <laughs> At least we have something to eat. That's the spirit. You know what? I can stop at that Starbucks around the corner and pick up some free sugar packets, sprinkle it. <laughs> free sugar packets! <laughs> They're so poor that they need to get free sugar packets. Well, she's giving her the impression that they're so poor. That they need free sugar packets from Starbucks. Huh? On the oatmeal and mix in some chocolate bar I found off the street. It'll taste just like the cereal. What? Wait, back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> Starbucks around the corner. Pick up some free sugar packets, sprinkle it on the oatmeal and mix in some chocolate bar I found off the street. Some ch Makes it some chocolate from a chocolate bar I found off the streets. See, th th see, that's the point where I would think, yeah, my mom's trying to kill me. On some fucking flea rat bitten fucking chocolate bar in my oh, in my gruel. Fuck you. <laughs> but she can't she can't splurge on three four dollars for a box of fucking cereal. It'll taste just like the cereal. Oh my God, really? It'll taste just like the cereal. Except with with fifty percent more diaper water. <laughs> Please, baby, anything for you. Yuck. Street chocolate. Wait, 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 wait. 
<laughs> Sinister looking kid. Mmm, street chocolate. Yeah, that's not chocolate if it's on the street. <laughs> I'm sorry, why are you- why do you basically have a disguise on? I don't understand. Go get her, Kendra! <laughs> Emily? Emily? Yeah, I wouldn't be making up- making so much noise so quickly. I mean, she's not that far down the hallway, and I'm pretty sure that sound would travel before you close the door. So, I don't know, just think about these things. Why the fuck would you leave that out? And why would you label it poison? <laughs> this is so retarded. Poison? Poison? What is that? I never heard of such of such things as poison. Why would she do this? Emily! Emily! Amanda? Is that you? I'm in here. Oh my god, Emily, I missed you so much. If you missed me so much, why didn't you try visiting or try calling? I, did I just visited right now, bitch. <laughs> Clearly someone was keeping me from it. I came every week and called and messaged every day. But your mom said you needed to rest and that I couldn't see you. What? My mother said none of my friends even tried reaching out. That's a lie. We've all been really worried about you. Also, take a look at this. What is this? It's poison. Your mother has been keeping- No shit! <laughs> no shit! I tried reaching out. That's a lie. <laughs> We've all been really worried- Hold on, I think I can cap it at the right also, time. Also, take a look at this. What is- <laughs> What is this? <laughs> I don't know, bitch. Maybe the label will give you a clue. Yep, I'm definitely capping that. <laughs> Oh, so much hilarity. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is this? this? It's poison. Your mother has been keeping you sick on purpose. Why would she do that? My mom loves me. To keep making money off of you. Look at the GoFundMe she made. It's almost at $100,000. What? But she said we didn't have any money. The treatment I need to get better only cost $5,000. Like, how fucking poor are you? Where the treatment you need is only 5k and she can't buy cereal. <laughs> Jesus. Amanda, what are we going to do? Let's call the cops. Yeah, she almost smiled right there. She almost laughed. Yep, she almost laughed right there. <laughs> I mean, I'm not hating. I would, too. <laughs> Joshua Black, $5 Super Chat. All the evidence points to attempted murder, but the mom and daughter will probably hug and kiss afterwards and forget the demented serial killer shit. Let's see. Like, oh my god. I, I, I kind of hope that happens. Because that... I don't... Oh god. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for... Uh, for this channel to break me again. And I think that just might do it. Emily? Honey, the Starbucks was closed, so I couldn't get those sugar packets. I was just there, it was completely open. <laughs> I was just there, it was completely open, by the way. She a trifling ass bitch. <laughs> I was just, of course you were just there. <laughs> um, yeah. We at the uh, at uh, White Girl Organization, we know when all the Starbucks are open. <laughs> Hello, 911? Yes, we need to send an officer as soon as possible. There's this crazy cheap lady that's trying to kill her daughter. A crazy cheap lady? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's so underhanded. <laughs> Hurry, she's coming towards us. Emily? Honey? What's going on? Are you okay? Emily, honey? What are you doing? Open the door right now. Open. Who else is in there? Did that book say Stanley Tucci on it? Hang on a sec. It is. It does. 1984 George Orwell. 
Kitchen Confidential or a uh, Kitchen Confidential, Anthony Bourdain, Adam Grant, give and take, I don't know what the fuck this, and then Stanley Tucci tastes. The fuck? <laughs> I'm capping that too. What the fuck? Like the direct uh, the director and creator really wants you to know how smart he is, guys. He really wants you to know he reads the popular books. Uh, Sebra, uh, oh my god, Olkin, Olkin, I think, crazy cheap Asians, <laughs> Gerard, Deary, why, well, she's not armed, why are they acting like she's Michael Myers? Ghost tactician, you see, subtle symbolism. <laughs> kitchen confident oh you know i kind of i kind of see the symbolism now kitchen confidential because she was confidentially uh poisoning her food in the kitchen <laughs> stanley tucci taste because she tasted the poison <laughs> adam grant um the daughter's giving her life so the mother can take the money <laughs> In 1984, George George Orwell, I think, you know, uh, you know, blind obedience or whatever. Anyway, let's continue. Who else is in there? You're in big trouble. I'm calling the police right now. Go ahead. Do it. And when they get here, we'll tell them all about how you've been keeping Emily sick, just so you can make money out of her. By scamming people out of their donations. Amanda? What are you ta- I don't know what you're talking about or who told you that, but it's all lies. Emily, honey, don't believe her. She's just jealous. She doesn't have a loving. Mother. She's like, just jealous that you like that you don't that she, she can't puke blood halfway across the room like you can. <laughs> Remember that awesome feat? <laughs> like you were just like that dinosaur from Jurassic Park, sweetie. Like you do, Emily, baby. Shut up, mother. I know all about your lies. Amanda, show me the poison you've been using to keep me sick. Open the door, you little... I take care of you for months, and this is how you repay me? I take Open care of you for right months? Well, you think her being her mother would be enough. But I took care of you for a couple of months, and this is how you repay me? Even though technically I've been taking care of you your whole life. Well, yeah, that's dumb. That's dumb. Right now. <laughs> no, and also we called the cops, and you're going straight to jail. And also we called you the cops. what? I'm gonna kill you. Open the door this instant, <laughs> you little twerp. I can't believe we only have an hour left in the stream. Jesus Christ. I've only done like, well, no, actually it's been three videos, but still, god damn. Daniel Brito, 199 Super Chat, the superhero music. I'm dead. I know, I know. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> what I did while you were sleeping? Oh, they're clearly trying not to laugh. <laughs> I ate all of your favorite cereal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're, we're gonna pack up. You're sleeping? <laughs> I. Do you know what I did while you were sleeping? <laughs> I ate all of your favorite cereal. <laughs> you being sick is the best thing that has ever happened to me. <laughs> she gave that up pretty damn quick. If I was, if it was me, I'd be recording uh, this whole fucking conversation. Don't listen to her. She's crazy. No, I think we need to listen to that because we need to know like the certain, like the situation and her motivations. Like, don't listen to her. Like, no, we need to. In fact, why don't you, why don't you have your phone out right now, recording? Oh, hello, officer. How can I help you? We got a call that someone was in trouble. <laughs> I feel like he's purposely hiking up his shoulders to look, look like a more imposing figure. Like, this guy's clearly a detective who probably works in homicide or some shit. And yet, like, he's the one who gets called for this. Yeah, it could be, like, you know, arresting a mother for putting her baby in a microwave, but I'm here for this, for this possible prank call. Trouble. The guys at the precinct don't respect me. <laughs> here? 
He must have the wrong address, or maybe it's one of the neighbors playing a silly prank or something. Ma'am, can we take a look around your apartment? Oh, I, I wish I could. Ma'am, I can't lay my arms down <laughs> at my sides. Can you please let me in? Oh, Help, we're in here. She's trying to kill us. Hands against the wall, please. Stay put. The officer searched the apartment and found the pills Miss Anderson was using to poison Emily. It wasn't pills. It was like some black shit. What are you talking about? Pills. <laughs> it was a vial of dust. He saw the gift that Emily- We're like liquid. What the fuck? Emily's friends had brought her in the trash. Ma'am, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of your daughter. You're going away for a long time. Get back in here with me when I have a chance. <laughs> Should have gotten rid of you when I had the chance. You know, before you were, uh, born. <laughs> Ton win five dollars super chat. Her trying to kill her daughter is one thing, but eating the cereal monster. It is really important to always check on your friends and those you love, and never give up on them because they might be. In oh, that's the lesson here. That's the lesson. Not that the mother was like purposely keeping her away. Like it's not like oh, the friends were like oh fuck that dead bitch. <laughs> I don't, I don't need to, like, we don't need, we don't need to, uh, to check up on her. No. Okay, what's next? I was gonna do another race-related one because I think that's appropriate. Hang on a sec. Jesus. Wife cheats on husband with 40 guys. Hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I can't believe we only have an hour left. I can't believe that. The time just flew the fuck by. Amanda? Oh my god, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm Um, can we talk about his completely impassive face when he first walked in? Who was that? Doing, David. I'm making love to a man who goes to the gym and is not always working. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, oh, that's all he does. He doesn't work. Which is very weird, considering this is a black guy. You're basically implying that he doesn't work and he just goes to the gym. He pumps iron and me. <laughs> he does he's not crunching numbers like you, you noob. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? What you see, baby? Hell no. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to back up. I'm going to cap both those. That's hilarious. Oh, God. Evil Hero Diamond Cat file a super chat. Please do a 12 hour endurance stream of this. Word Farm, Advent <laughs> Word Farm Adventure will sponsor you. Fuck that. Y'all want me, see, you want me, the evil hero diamond cat wants me to die. Literally. Extreme Gamer 719, how much, how, how much you want to bet uh, the black guy's name is Jerome or Jermaine? Something with a J. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, let's go. Let me go back. <laughs> you can count the, like, what is... All he had to do was like suck it in slightly and he'd be fine. I think he's deliberately pushing out his stomach because he looks he looks pregnant. He looks like a pregnant man. <laughs> oh come on. What you see, baby? Not Damn it. See, baby. <laughs> there we go. 
Oh, Jesus. Not really. It looks like you've gotten fatter. I don't think I'm getting fat. He's deliberately pushing his stomach out. Fatter? Honey, you know I can't go to the gym like I used to. I've been working overtime at the hospital. Well, can't you work out before you go to the hospital? Or afterwards? Maybe you can lift one of those cancer patients and use them as weights. What the fuck? <laughs> For one thing, the cancer patients would be too light. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, you're a bitch! <laughs> Holy shit! How can you say something like that? Those are human beings. Besides, I told you, I'm not working with cancer patients anymore. They have me on COVID cases now because the hospital staff has been oh, they, so over- they just have me on COVID now. I used to do cancer, and now I'm on COVID. <laughs> Actually, you know, that's not far off. Never mind. <laughs> Wound, and those people need all the time that I can give them. I could care less about these COVID people. They all could just die if it were- I couldn't care less, but okay. Or up to me. This is just like the flu, but people are- Really? We're putting- we're doing this? We're putting this in here? For real? <laughs> For real? We're putting the anti-vax shit in there. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, lordy, 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 Jesus. About these COVID people, they all could just die if it were up to me. These COVID this people. This is just like the flu. But people are overreacting. And wasn't it you that said it's all the fat people that are dying? <laughs> and old people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? Okay, but you're trying to portray, portray her as an anti-vaxxer, but, like, she ends up in bed with a black guy? Does that make sense? <laughs> you know how they usually portray anti-vax people as, like, wh like, white hillbilly racists? Like, they do basically in every negative depiction of anything in the media? Anyway, um... What the fuck? <laughs> it's a service to society, if you ask me. No, it's not what I said, and you know it. What I said was that people with pre-existing conditions are getting hit the hardest because their bodies are under so much strain. By the way, aren't your parents seriously overweight? Yes, they are. And I pray that they get COVID and die off faster. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, why would you want this channel removed from YouTube? Why? It's comedy fucking gold. What the fuck is any of this? And just give me my inheritance. I'm just so sick of going to their birthday parties every year. Like you're and they're and they're just living. <laughs> you're 60 years old. How old can you keep on living? <laughs> I see when I say this shit, I'm joking. And then like I'll say this shit right before they actually say the thing. What the fuck? <laughs> I think I should write for these bastards, cause uh Wow. And why would they we're, we're simpatico right now. I want to keep on living. It's not like they're of any service to society. Honey, sometimes when you talk like that, I don't know if you actually mean it or if it's just stress or something. The stress of fucking what? <laughs> Robot Chicken 670 499 Super Chat. It's not a Tuma. <laughs> Uh, ghostly karma? Someone should have swallowed her. Wow. I have an idea. Why don't you let the good doctor release some of that stress for you? Um, she just said she would want, she wants everyone with COVID to die. And wants her parents to die so she can collect her inheritance. And you still trying to tap that. You're still tr trying to, you're still, <laughs> you're still trying to get an oil change with your dick. Like, uh, like test your, te you're still trying to test the oil with your dick. Like, what are you, what are you doing? You fucking sim? I'm not in the mood, David. Really? I, you know, COVID genocide gets you in the mood every time. <laughs> it's been like six months since we made love. Are you sure? What if? Fucking stop. 
It's over. <laughs> Her pussy is dry. It's done. <laughs> Oh, we're in the red again. Hang on, hang on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That pussy is dry. It's dry as fuck. And don't try to fuck, cause you're out of luck. Okay, we're back. We're back. We spice things. Yeah, just don't do that. Don't. You're not supposed to do it like that. Like, yeah, I'm with her right now. Like, she's looking, yeah, you're doing it all wrong. It's not how you snap a belt. It's up a little bit. Ew, David, you know I do not like that kind of stuff. I hate when people get weird like that. And I Oh, oh, as opposed to the people who wish their parent would die so they could collect inheritance. You fucking cunt. <laughs> you know I don't get down like that. Like, uh... At, like calling for a genocide of people with COVID, fine, totally cool. But spanking during sex? Do you think I'm a whore? I already told you, I'm not in the mood. I'm sorry. You know I respect you and your body, and I will <laughs> just wait till you're in the mood. Well, you're going to be waiting a very long time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My libido has been terminated. Sebra, uh, uh, Yolkin, I think. $3 super chat. She's gonna, she's got some Brie Larson going on in the face. <laughs> she got some Brie Larson going on in the personality, too. <laughs> Just damn. <ugh. laughs> oh my god. Honey, I'm so sorry. I gotta go back into the hospital as soon as possible. They're bringing in a whole busload of kids with COVID from an orphanage. Maybe they- <laughs> Of course they They are. should have asked their parents to take better care of them. The hell is that? <laughs> should have, they should have asked their parents to take better care of them. <laughs> Fucking COVID kids. As David was getting ready to go back to the hospital, Amanda was also getting ready by messaging guys on Tinder and telling them to come over for an easy score. See, what David didn't know is that every night when he was at work in the hospital, I could have spanked her so hard with this. Amanda would have a new guy come. Maybe I should just hang myself on my doorknob and. <laughs> Hang on, let me rewind. No, is that every night when he was at work in the hospital, Amanda would have a new guy come over from Tinder and have his way with her. Have his way with her, uh, aka cream pie. She got, she put up, she puts a, a fucking um. Oh God, what's the slopped him his prime nine thousand on their dick? Like a whole bunch of shit. Okay, sleepy doodle twenty pounds for chat. The thing is, there's a lot of people who are uh, who uh, are frustrated with the narrative of protecting the elderly and putting their own uh, own love their own loves on hold for them. Uh, Lord Stabbington, two dollars super chat. It's Brie Larson, ten pounds heavier. Here we go. 40th guy this month. <laughs> the 40th guy this month. Uh, hoes don't count. I mean, like, I mean, when I say hoes don't count, I mean, they don't count the number. They don't know. That's why they're hoes. <laughs> if they could count up the, the, the guys they fuck, they wouldn't fuck that many guys. <laughs> They're not gonna count. She counts. One more and I'll beat my personal record. I'll beat my personal record. <laughs> She's a track and field hoe. I can't believe I've let all these men have unprotected love with me. Unprotect, unprotected love. Is she letting them nut in her? Like, <laughs> there's a whole man stew going on my pussy. And I haven't even gotten pregnant or any diseases. Why are you saying this out loud? Oh my god, a fucking alien racist dialogue. Maybe that's all just a fairy tale like COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know what? 
STDs and pregnancy. All a fairy tale, just like COVID. <laughs> oh, Will Smith. <laughs> I'm tired of Jada having entanglements behind my back, so I'm gonna get some man suit pussy. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Amanda? Black Hercules? <laughs> looks like, oh, looks like bro was way off. How much, like, one of my, one, somebody in chat, I forgot who it was, because I'm just, I'm frazzled right now. <laughs> they were like, his name's probably, his name's probably like Jermaine or Jerome. His name is Black Hercules. We were way off. <laughs> We were so off! How could we be so wrong? <laughs> ooh, ooh, that hurt. <laughs> that snort, like, hurt. It hurt my brain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bra Black Hercules. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Amanda? Black Hercules? <laughs> well, that was racist. Oh, like, oh, that's racist, but I'm still gonna poke it. I wish I had gotten Carl to watch this with me. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, that's racist. <laughs> I'm gonna cap this too. I don't know why. I just want to. <laughs> well, that was racist. This nigga ain't got nothing but a fucking face. <laughs> A windbreaker vest. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, Master Chuddy is like, I don't understand. <laughs> Neither do I. My fucking throat hurts now. What time is it? Okay, we're at 11.20. Hurry up and get to midnight, goddammit. But, since I'm about to punish you really hard. Fuck off, get the fuck out of here. With your receding hairline. <laughs> I'm gonna take off my glasses for a minute. I, I can't do this. I can't. I'm about to punish you real hard. Pound that pussy. I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. I can excuse racism. <laughs> as long as I'm getting that white pussy. Hercules? Well, that was racist, but. <laughs> You, this this all right, this right here is why you can't tell me that this is like some unironic attempt at advocating against bad things. You know what I mean? This is this is all for like this is purposely this funny. There's no way they're doing this by accident. Oh, just another rich guy posting videos on on the web and he just doesn't know how to direct or anything or doesn't know how to write. He's just so dumb and rich. Like, f bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Since I'm about to punish you really hard, I'll allow it. Come in. Like, literally, come in. Make yourself at home. Can I get you anything to drink? What is that behind him? What the fuck was that? I'll take a bottle hey, of water. They have some. There you go. I'll have some steamed milk too. By the way, I brought something for you. My dick. Something for us to play with. A belt. That's how you snap a fucking belt, motherfucker! I love it when people get freaky with me. <laughs> That's what. I'm just capping. Oh my god, this is fucking ridiculous. I gotta find more cheating ones. They seem to be very funny. Wow, wow, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> but as I said, that's how you snap a fucking belt. <laughs> Oh, that face. 
Ugh. I'm just capping that face, and then we can get back to <laughs> the video. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I love it when people get freaky with me. <laughs> oh, you talk like a toddler. While Amanda and Tyrone were in bed, David was on his way back from the hospital. Doctors from all over the city had shown up to help and they no longer needed David. <laughs> we didn't need your useless ass. Your little chocolate chips on your chest and your baby stomach. Go home and fuck your wife. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're a loser at that, too, you useless sack of crap. You don't even have lips. Go home. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, this, this. like, the head doctor at his hospital just fucking berating him for no reason. Probably because he fucked his wife, too. <laughs> you can't keep her wet. Honey, I'm home. Got you some of your favorite chocolates. <laughs> I think she got some of her favorite chocolates on her own, but okay. Uh, Metal Mugen? Since when does Black have a narrator? Jesus. Uh, August Oxymoron. Jay, please, I need specifically that screen cap. Uh, hit me up on my Twitter. And I'll send you a copy of that screen cap. Which screen cap, though? The one with the belt? Because, yeah. Just hit me up on Twitter and I'll give it to you. King, $2 super chat. It's giving me hives. Make it stop. <laughs> oh, boy. No, you probably haven't had him in a while since you've been on a diet. <laughs> She's eating a big old Toblerone right now. <laughs> Amanda? Hello? I brought you. You'd think you'd hear something in that little ass apartment. You would hear a lot. Bring some chocolate. We get the fucking euphemism, okay? Move on. She still got her fucking shirt on. How freaky are they get could they possibly be getting? Sorry, brother, she... Really, how freaky are they getting and she still got, still got her shirt on? Sorry, brother. She already got enough chocolate for a whole year. Oh! <laughs> I bet the writers were so proud of themselves. So proud of that joke. Amanda? Oh, my God, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing, David? I'm making love to a man who goes to the gym and is not always working. I love you with a- <laughs> Yeah, because that lets me know black men aren't always working. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice writers. Oh, nice. My heart. Remember our wedding vows? There are good times and bad. It's okay. We can we can go to counseling. We we can... We can have a threesome relationship. Where I'm kind of at work and you're fucking him and when he's fucking you, like, and I'm here, I can hold his hand. I can hold your hand while he's piping you regular. Let's still work this out. Look, David, Tyrone has worked me out all night. His name is Tyrone! We got it. <laughs> Tyrone, baby! We got it, baby. His name is Tyrone. Because I really thought his I was just hoping his name was Black Hercules, but Tyrone, that's good enough for me. Night tonight. Plus, I don't love you. You better call on Tyrone. <laughs> okay. I only wanted the attention and the gifts that come with weddings. All women want Wow. That. We just don't admit it. <laughs> She's red-pilled and based. <laughs> she should be on Fresh and Fit and pipe the whole fucking panel. <laughs> Sorry, get piped by the whole panel. We peak in high school. And we want to feel that feeling again. Plus, bitch, you're the one. You now you peaked in high school. You were fit when I met you. Now look at you, fat like a pig. Disgusting. 
Yeah, now I'm starting to believe this is some fetish shit. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> baby. I love you so much. I love you with all my heart. Please. Please don't. I love you. Goodbye, Why David. are you doing this to me, Lisa? <laughs> and he still got his fucking pants on. He still got his fucking pants on. And they're jeans. They're not just regular sweatpants or anything. They're jeans. You know how uncomfortable it fucking is to be in bed with jeans on? Hey. You're a doctor, right? <laughs> yeah. Can you take a look at the smoke <laughs> on my abs? Oh, fuck. Stop it. I'm afraid it might be something dangerous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is not a good... This is not a good... This, yeah, I'm starting to think this is some kink shit. Like, come on. <laughs> and then with that caption, yeah, I'm capping that shit. That is very suggestive. <laughs> Because <laughs> they said it would protect people. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, uh, he—he looked like he was nearly going for his dick. Oh my god, Joshua Black five dollars super chat. This is so unironically racist. So is she the hero or the villain? Uh, for getting away, getting with the black guy. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure she's the villain, but like, like what the fuck is the point of this shit? Oh, Tyrone. Stop that! Stop cocking him! <laughs> Stop fulfilling your cock fetish! You're supposed to be with me! Bye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Amanda packs her things and leaves wow. with Tyrone. Bye. After three months of working on himself, David was able to get his life back on track. Even got a promotion at the hospital and became one of their top doctors. He started uh -huh. working out let, and getting let, Let's go back though. For three months. I want to go back to what you said. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Amanda packs her things and leaves with Tyrone. After three months of working on himself. David oh my was God. I life. see. I, I kind of like skimmed a little bit. This video was like separated into like chapters. I don't know why. And it says like the caption right here on this chapter is like Tyrone did not have a job. <laughs> You gotta be fucking kidding me. Back on track. Even got a promotion at the hospital and became one of their top doctors. He realized that Tyrone did not have a job. <laughs> <In> all... <laughs> Tyrone did not have a job. Hang on. I want to get the perfect cap for this with that caption. <laughs> Tyrone did not have a job. <laughs> oh, fuck. Did not have a job, and all he would do was go to the gym and take steroids. He would come. <laughs> Let me guess, it made his dick little, right? Because steroids does, does, does not do wonders for your dick home from the gym and then emotionally well actually no it's your balls that shrink right well whichever it's just it's not good either way use her oh and he abused her oh great let's add on emotionally domestic abuse was go to the gym along let's add on domestic abuse with the unemployment with the black guy thanks take steroids he would come home from the gym and then emotionally abuse her Amanda, this is a back while the internet was out. I was checking, uh, well, no, I wasn't checking anything, but I was telling someone that I wish, well, I was telling Carl that I wish I was on stream with him while, while watching this. This is insane. <laughs> oh, so much life has been breathed into me. Anyway, uh, okay. 1136. I'm glad that you got the courage to stand up for yourself and find a better life. Yes, exactly. And who else to give me a better life than you? My <laughs> yeah, you seem really enthused about that, you bitch. <laughs> Favorite doctor in the world. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've moved on. I finally learned how to respect and value myself. and I could never be with someone like you. <laughs> Besides, I've got somebody new now. 
Pyrone. <laughs> and she loves me for who I am and not for what my abs look like. But David, I <coughs> I love you. That doesn't sound too good. Uh-oh. Please don't tell me she has like AIDS or anything. Oh, please, please. Should probably get that cough checked out. Might be COVID. Oh, they just set up a COVID joke. Um. Bye. It's really important to remember that true beauty is on the inside. Oh, that's what we were supposed to learn from now. <laughs> when they get to the end with the real message, you're just like, what? At, hoping people die from COVID, Black Hercules, getting like 40, fucking 40 men, like, come soup in the pussy. Like, and, but, oh, it's, it's, it's important to love people for who they are. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, okay. Well, this one says hot girl drugs boyfriend. All right, let me go back to the channel and see what we got. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wife cheats on disabled soldier. See, I'm looking for, I'm gonna look at their most popular uploads. Let's see what they got. Autistic kid bullied by babysitter. Wife cheats on, yeah, we just saw that one. Evil foster mother mistreats kids, which I think is the same chick from this video. Karen calls cop on black kids in that face. Jesus Christ. Hot girl friend zones nice guy. Evil mom bullies daughter. Let's see. Well, you know what? To make up for the Karen video I didn't talk about in the, in the stream, I'll watch this one. I think it's the same fucking premise. I'm looking at this video. Like, there's a disabled kid? There's, <laughs> is this the same fucking video repurposed for... An, like, well, actually, the newer one would be repurposed. But whatever. Where's your permit? Permit? Didn't they teach you thugs anything in those ghetto schools I pay for with my taxes? <laughs> uh. Yeah, this seems like it's the same fucking video. We ran out of ideas with this one. Of course you need a permit. You need a permit to sell anything. It's called living in a civilized society. Society! The apes. I am gonna call the police. <laughs> <laughs> he look at her. Okay, not only is he crippled, he's got crutches. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Please don't call the police. We'll leave right now. Huh. What is in here? More drugs. More drugs. Yeah, all those ice. Yeah, that ice water drug. Yeah, that's drugs. <laughs> Jamal, do you really think we can... Oh, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, you little bastards deserve to be harassed. Three dollars for water? For cheap-ass dollar store bottled water. Three dollars. You must be out of your fucking mind. See, now I'm on her side. <laughs> They're overcharging for fucking water. Fuck them. Jamal, do you really think we can raise three thousand dollars selling and his water? name is Jamal, because yep. of course it is. We sell a hundred bottles. That's the only... It's the only black name. <laughs> it's not. It's the only name they could come up with for black people in your videos. Jamal, Tyrone, Lamar. <laughs> what else? Leroy. Shit <laughs> like that. Three hundred dollars minus the cost, which was fifty dollars, and that'll put us around two hundred fifty dollars profit a day. And if my calculations are correct, we should reach our goal after twelve days. Little fucking hustlers, three dollars for cheap ass bottled water. You must be out of your damn mind. <laughs> Sky Powers, ah yes, they learned from Nestle CEO. <laughs> that guy says, "Well, bite in inflation. D well, bite inflation, duh." <laughs> uh, Sebra, Yokin, uh, Yokin, Jamar, Jay Sean, Jamichael, Jacris. Oh boy. Practical Pisces. Three dollars? Who are they? Six flags? Wow. Jamal, how did you get so smart? Because <laughs> yeah, I know you didn't get smart from being black. 
Dun dun. <laughs> Books, Darnell. Anything you need to know is in the book. Water! Come get your cold, clean, delicious water! Yes, and it's very delicious. You don't want to get a heat stroke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great advertising, Darnell. Thanks. I learned it from the best. Hey, kids, I couldn't help but overhear that amazing sales pitch. I'm too old to be out here. <laughs> How? When? I couldn't help but hear that amazing sales pitch. Uh, yeah, I think this old man likes molesting boys uh, who are crippled. <laughs> He's got a fetish. That's why he ran off. I, I smell uh, numb booty. <laughs> I smell lip booty. <laughs> I'm assuming he was at that park in the background, and then he ran over. But why run over like that, like a fucking spurg? Hey, kids, I couldn't help but overhear that amazing sales pitch. I'm too old to be out here without something to drink. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All of the proceeds go to our orphanage that just got burned down. Nothing like two young men taking matters into their own hands to help the community. Thank you, sir. That means a lot. So how many waters do you want? You should take two just in case you lose one. <laughs> Such bright kids. You know, you're right. <laughs> I'll probably forget as soon as I leave at my age, so I better take two. <laughs> All right, here you go. Yeah, your age, but like you're looking like you're in shape though, so I don't think you'd be that slow. Awesome. And six dollars for fucking two bottles of cheap ass water. Fuck you. Six bucks to the future entrepreneurs of the nation. Thank you for your business. To the future entrepreneurs of the nation. He flubbed that line. Hang on, let's go back. We're going. We're gonna go back. Yeah, he kind of he kind of flubbed that line. <laughs> oh, we're in the red again. Come on, bro. Have a good one, guys. Oh, you too. <laughs> what are those hood rats doing in my neighborhood? It's basically the same as that other video. She didn't say anything. She would like hide behind a tree and say some racist shit and then and then appear from the tree and be like, hey, you cripple naggers. They need to learn their place. Take their drug selling schemes back to the slums. You know the other kid is not black, right? <laughs> Hello, miss. Would you like to buy refreshing water to help no. save money for- You keep your drug-filled water away from me. I know what you thugs are doing. You can't fool me. Thugs? <laughs> yeah, thugs. I'm in a fucking wheelchair, bitch. <laughs> oh, you wheelchair rolling thug. You do a drive-by in your little wheelchair down my street. I bet you got a gun rack in that chair. <laughs> Ma'am, we're just kids trying to raise money for a good cause. Don't talk back to me, boy. Stay yep. Up when you're it's basically the same video as the other one. She said, boy. Except it was a little more emphasized than the other one. Talking to me. But I'm in a wheelchair. I can't stand up. <laughs> you calling me stupid, boy? Didn't your drug addict parents teach you any manners? We're orphans. We don't have parents. <laughs> Talk back to me one more time. I am having you arrested. No, 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 no. Don't call the cops. Where's your permit? Permit? Didn't they teach you thugs anything in those ghetto schools I have paid for with my taxes? <laughs> Do you keep your taxes in your jowl? <laughs> like that's her that's her fucking wallet right there. She just slips slips her twenty dollar bills in her folds. Of course you need a permit. You need a permit to sell anything. It's called living in a civilized society. Society. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, miss. We didn't know. If you don't leave my neighborhood and leave these poor, good-hearted people alone and stop bothering them with your ugly, dark presence, I am going to call the police. No, 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 no. Please don't call the police. We'll leave right now. Huh. What is in here? More drugs. That bottled water drugs. Adam Milan, 250 uh, RSD. She looks 
like Bette Midler doing an impression of what Hollywood types think all racists are like. <laughs> Love your work, Jay. Keep it up. Thank you. Uh, Sebra, uh, Alcani Ol me off. <laughs> Gerard Deary, uh, the apes were civilized in Planet of the Apes. <laughs> they said to you, DLDO, dark presence. Now look what you made me do. Hurry up and clean those up, boy. That's littering on the street and that's illegal. I could have you arrested. The thing is, Karens wouldn't be this fucking dumb to harass cripple boys. Or like, to, to harass cripple kids. Like, no way in hell. That's not a fight they can win. Because all they gotta do is say, hey, this crazy white bitch is uh, harassing me. And that's it. It's like, it's over for you. It's over. It's over. It's done. That's, that doesn't make you look good. You might finally find your daddy when you're in jail. Are you so mean? <laughs> Why are you Getting so mean? mean? You're getting off easy. If my parents were here, they would do way worse. <laughs> That's what you get for selling drugs in my neighborhood. This is God teaching you people a lesson to stay in your place. <laughs> <laughs> the next day. Yeah, the next day we forgot to center our okay, text. We don't find any more crazy people like that lady here. No, I don't think so. That last spot was 20 minutes away from here. Come and get your water. Good your overpriced me. water. Good for your health. The doctor recommends you at least... Yeah, look at that. That's fucking day. dollar store water. Ralph. <laughs> hey. Jamal, we did amazing today. We sold almost 200 water bottles. This oh, is fuck off. 200 times $3 is like, ugh. Okay, I'm old. I need a calculator. <laughs> I know it's probably easy. I just don't feel like thinking right now. <laughs> okay, you made $600. It's definitely the spot. We need to come here every day. Yeah, if we keep this up, we're going to reach our goal way faster than we anticipated. Thank you for being my big brother. I know we're not related, but in my mind and heart, you are a brother. Oh, shut up. <laughs> and blood doesn't mean anything when we got a true bond friendship. You're like the little brother I never had. Thank you. That meant a lot. I'm telling you, one day we're both going to get into great colleges, eventually get our own place. Then we'll be able to come back and help people just like us do the same thing. Oh, no, Jamal, look. They're saints. Like, the other place they read, he said it was 20 minutes away from there. This bitch has got to be stalking him. <laughs> what did I tell you, you jungle monkeys? Looks like I'm going to have to call the cops. Uh, for one thing, one is a beaner and the other is a jungle monkey. <laughs> At least get your racial epitaphs correct. We, we moved to a whole new place. This isn't even your neighborhood. Exactly. What the fuck? Exactly. Talk back to me, boy. I'll yeah, like, come on. Come on. Yeah, I mean, you gotta answer for that. You gotta... Like, are you stalking us or not? These streets belong to my ancestors. We worked hard to build a good neighborhood. And I refuse to allow dirty brats like y'all to ruin it. Her us. teeth are unusually white. With your dirty hands and feet. Like, uh, her... Well... Uh, I was gonna say, like, oh yeah, okay. Like her clean sheets. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Carl's coming for me. Like, I'm still on stream, nigga! What are we gonna do? I don't know. I'm scared, too. Yeah, I'm on stream right now, watching videos from, uh, that generation. Yeah, it's hilarious. You should rewind to the part, um, to the one, uh, I was talking about where she, this white chick fucks, like, 40 guys, and she invites, she invites, like, one of her, uh, uh, one of her, um, black men over her house. Lord. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm watching this other one. Uh, well, yeah, you said you were watching me watch it, but you know. This one is basically just like that video that got removed from their channel. It's, ba it's basically the same premise. 
So, you know. It, uh, is that the one with the racism and the right lady? Yeah, the one where she's whipping the guy in the wheelchair. Ooh. Yeah, but this was basically the same shit. Except you know, there's no whip, at least not yet. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go because I wanna get I wanna get to this and finish it. I, I yeah. should be out of here in a few. Like, should be like done in a few minutes. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Lord Jesus. On the authorities, you are breaking the law by selling those poisonous bottles. No, 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 no! Please don't. For one thing, the cops would be able to prove that they're not poisonous and it's just water. Plus, they sold it to like several other people. Like, come on! Look what you did, you what you psychotic oh, yes. bitch! That was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. Now I'm gonna teach you what happens when you mess with people like me. Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> Thugs are selling water bottles without a permit. I'm teaching them a lesson. You don't need a permit to sell bottled water. Anybody can do that here. Really? But she kept saying well, we go to jail. Jail? You guys are not going to jail. What are you doing? We got to stop them before they start infesting our neighborhood. They start out here, they end With their wheel, like Susie, if <laughs> thought it stop infecting our neighborhood with their wheelchairs. Sooner or later, we're going to have wheelchair wheels in their front lawns and shit. <laughs> Drugs to our children. I don't know where you're coming up with they. All I see is a couple of young men trying to make some money out here. They could be anywhere doing anything with their time. I mean, you yeah, know, they're cheating people, but okay. <laughs> they're trying to raise money for their orphanage. And it looks like they've done a great job. Thank you, sir. People like you, they make all our efforts go to waste. You should be ashamed. <laughs> what the fuck? You should be ashamed for going against your kind. Going against your own kind. My own kind? You mean human? We're all the same. <laughs> you should be the ones ashamed for hassling these kids like this. I can't believe the patience they had with you. I'd have flung a water bottle at your head. <laughs> I, oh my god. I thought he was going to say, I want to fuck you up. <laughs> Get off his front. Fuck you up. <laughs> he put a lot of emphasis on that F. <laughs> You know what? Get out of here for hassling these guys before I call the cops on you. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. That was amazing. If you weren't here, I wouldn't know what would have happened to us. Yeah, you saved our lives. I mean, brother, you could have tripped her with your crutches. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it could have been easy. I'm sorry you kids had to experience that. I mean, some people. You know, this Different Strokes remake is... Very inspiring. People in this world don't understand that we're all equal. Now, how about a couple more bottles of that amazing water? <laughs> that amazing Ralph's water. <laughs> water? Come get some water, man. All right. All right. Awesome. Have a good one. Next. Next. Like, there's a water fountain, like, right over there. I could get, like, free water. For not like for, we, I could just get free water over there, and y'all selling it for like three dollars. You fucking crippled shysters. <laughs> it's very important we treat everyone the same. We're all equal, no matter where we come from, how we talk, how we dress, and most importantly, what we look like. This world belongs to all of us, so let's keep it that way. Thanks for watching. Make sure you share this video with all your friends and family. Don't no. forget to I'm not insane. <laughs> and I wouldn't humiliate my family that way. <laughs> Subscribe and like. And remember, here at Generation Hope, we're trying to make the world a better place. One I mean, but you're doing so by making us laugh. <laughs> you know, so. They're, they're partially correct. One story at a time. Oh, God. So that's, yeah, that's it. We're only a few minutes shy of midnight. And you know, oh my god, I'm just I'm dra this this channel drained me drained me. It's that bad. It's so bad. I see I thought it was gonna be like, okay, it's just it'll be bad, but it won't be like that bad. It'll be like it'll be like average, like Dar I'm not saying Darman is good, because he's not. He's shit too, and he's like just uh he's 
Yeah, he's basically a, a a schemer and a scammer like these people. So he's he's do, doing the same grift. It's the same shit. Uh, but uh, his is not as bad as this. This is whacked out of fucking control. Uh, Mr. DJ Fly, uh, <laughs> Mr. DJ Fly High. One more vid. Oh, one and only sound. One more vid. Ghosts. He's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? I think my internet is telling me like stop with the videos, Jay Longbone. Please, please. <laughs> I can't do this one more time. But we're gonna do it anyway. Oh, and I noticed something while the internet was out. That I saw one of Darman's videos. And basically, Generation Hope rips off not only Darman's video format and his whole style, they rip off his fucking thumbnails, too. Like, their, their, th their thumbnails are made the exact same fucking way, except Generation Hope's text is blue and Darman's uh, text is yellow. That's basically the only change. That's basically the only difference. So yeah, they're they're deliberately like they, it's already clear that that was going on, but they're they're definitely deliberately ripping off Darman. Now I don't really give a shit because, like I said, they're all like the same type of shyster, so it doesn't really matter to me. But like, still, they are ripping them off. Major Chris fight all the super chat, seeing channels like this. Okay, it seems like we are back. I'm still going to do one more video, because let's be honest, I do want to do one more video. As much as it hurts. <laughs> Just making sure you guys are tucked in. We can do this. Look at that cheap ass Bonnie, oh my We're good. What are you doing? AJ Kappa. Bonnie, oh my god. AJ Kappa in the wheelchair. God, what are you doing? Don't you ever knock? Hey, baby, who's the cripple? I'm. <laughs> hey, baby, who's the cripple? Like, who the fuck you think it is? You fucking muscle headed idiot? Her husband? Who are you? I'm her new man. Wheels. <laughs> What's up with the microphone problems? There's so much echo behind this dude's voice. <laughs> I'm her I'm her new man, wheels. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta cap this too. Damn it. I'm her husband. <laughs> oh Jesus. Gotta cap that shit too. Who are you? I'm her new man. <laughs> oh Jesus! This is fantastic. Our new man wheels. Every time you roll out of here, <laughs> you roll, <laughs> baby, come! Oh, oh! <laughs> Look, all right. Like, no offense to the actors. I'm, I'm, I'm merely picking at the character. The cunty character in the video. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with it this time. All right, we're back again. Again. I don't know why. It's like. YouTube is actively, or or at least AT and T is actively trying to stop me from watching this fucking video. I don't know what the hell is going on. Hang on a sec. Okay, now that you guys are back, I'm going to read these super chats that I missed. Uh, I am the wizard who knocks. $5 super chat. This says bye. <laughs> bye bye. Barkley KR, 199 super chat. Hope the stream doesn't die. Here's some, uh, uh, here's some extra. 
Your hopes did nothing. <laughs> Also, as I was saying, before we were brutally interrupted, her fucking face, her face attacked me, I swear. Jesus Christ. Like, this whole scenario, like, oh, he's being cheated on by his wife. Uh, his wife is probably, it's good. she's gotta be hot, right, if she's pulling in, like, a, a veteran and a, a chunkhead idiot like the other guy. But now, like, it gets to her and it's like, oh, that's rough. Frolic King, you guys are probably gonna die at the email the girlfriend gets near the end of the video. Oh, God. <laughs> Just shut up, you legless idiot. Oh, oh, yeah, her teeth. I thought it was maybe just like a bad frame. But now she's kind of like ghoulish. I'm just... Don't you get it? You legless freak. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She is not she the same. Take care of a woman. Hey, listen, man, we're really busy. I think. Uh, I think we gotta go. <laughs> really? Really? Uh, winky winky woo, two pound super chat. I'm whiter than white, and I'm white, y'all. <laughs> okay. It went red for a minute, and I got worried. Jesus. I'm gonna miss you, babe. But I promise you that when I come back, I'll, I'll finally have the time to take over the family restaurant. And then I can buy you all those nice things you want, like um, a, a big house and a nice car. All those expenses. This as long as you don't open your fucking mouth. <laughs> Ever. The dinners you want. Don't forget the Louis bag that I've always wanted. And the diamond ring, too. <laughs> of course. How could I forget? Well, you can use your teeth to mine the coal for your ring. The diamond for your ring. Looks like you actually you look like you've already been doing it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The one is yours. I'll be stationed in Syria for six months, but after I serve this tour, I'll come back home to my perfect princess. I can't wait for you to finally come back and take care of me. Take care of me? Of luxury. Yeah, but you're also excited because you love me and you want to spend time with me, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. I love you. You mean the world to me. George! Remember? Oh, yeah. Forgot we're waiting until marriage. Exactly. Purity, <laughs> how the relationship would feel. Oh, and, and you're right. And that's what I love about you. You have these, these values and, and standards. I've been waiting for about three years now, but I know it'll all be worth it. Exactly. And once you take over the family restaurant business, we'll get married. <laughs> but don't you think you should go now? Okay. I'll call you as soon as I land there. <laughs> Ghostly karma. Kissing makes me pregnant. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's not good. <laughs> Finally, he's gone. I'm going back to cheating on him every night <laughs> until he comes back. She's been blowing the thing. That's why her I teeth are like that. How are you saying whatever those are? I'm going back to now blow... Back. I'm gonna go back to give him the thing that slut that that slopped him his prime top. <laughs> fighting for his country. On the other hand, George is stuck in the middle of a war zone. Missions. He accidentally steps on a landmine and blows his legs off. He blows his legs off six months later. Dolly, I bet she knows Black Hercules. <laughs> What? Really? The disrespect? Like, uh, hello, who's there? I only date men who are six feet, so I can only look, like, up at the wall. <laughs> Babe. I'm Babe. Back. Oh, my God. 
No. no Looking like one of the fucking things from The Hills Have Eyes. She's the baby that actually grew up pretty. <laughs> uh. Evil hero Diamond Cat, he still has legs. Yeah, I know. I know. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shut down the chat for a while. Anyway, um, you're just, yeah, I don't know. Like, like I said, this the chat, I think. I believe we're back. Jesus Christ. I hope this doesn't happen again. Alright, alright. Let's get back to it before it happens again. What happened to you? Well, my unit was away from the base, and um, a couple of us were doing a nightly patrol. And then all of a sudden, we got ambushed. And un unfortunately, during that whole thing, I, I stepped on a landmine. And the medics, they were able to save me, but they couldn't save my leg. So what does this mean for me? I mean, <laughs> you're still able to take over the family business, right? Unfortunately, my brother's gonna have to take over the family business now that I'm in a wheelchair. How can you not take over the family business? You're still alive. What was it? One of the stipulations of taking over the family business is like, you don't become a cripple, eh? Otherwise, how are you going to serve the pizza pie when you ain't got no legs? I assume they're Italian. <laughs> I don't know why. I just assume they're like old school Sicilian family. Oh, shit. I'll be able to do my best running a restaurant. But for now, for now, you're just gonna have to take care of me while I adjust to this. But, but we'll get through it. So no more big house, nice car, or expensive ring. Not not for now. <laughs> but I promise we're. I love how these motherfuckers will say point blank what they're all about and the victim or the good person in the situation is like, acts like they didn't even fucking hear it. Like, they're in another world somewhere. David, just give me some time. You're gonna need to get a job. A really high-paying job, because I can't go without nice things for long. Don't worry. <laughs> My love, I'll work as hard as I can to get a good job. After all, you're my wife. The love of my life. I'll do anything I can to make you happy. Ew, cripple germs. This really ruined the plans that I had to marry a uh, rich, tall, handsome man. I'm gonna need time to process this. Don't worry. Why don't you process the rest of your teeth? Like, it, it looks like your teeth are fucking loading. <laughs> They're still loading. After his talk with Bonnie, George would spend all day applying for jobs to try and make the money that it would take to keep his wife happy. He even spent- I don't understand why you can't run a fucking business and be crippled at the same time. Teaching himself how to code. To <laughs> he taught himself how to code. <laughs> uh, learn to code. <laughs> eventually become a computer programmer in the hopes of getting a great job. Meanwhile, Bonnie spent her nights in other ways. She would make excuses to avoid being at the house with George while she had affairs with the many men that pursued her. She would specifically choose to do activities that she knew he would not be able to participate in. I'm going for a jog. Too bad you can't do that, Legolas. <laughs> Legolas. <laughs> like going on runs. This went on and on for months and months until one day... Months and months? Okay. Honey, I'm home. 
I got a job as a lead programmer at a big tech company. Apparently that doesn't require legs. I mean, well, technically it wouldn't, but you know. <laughs> the same shirt that other bitch wore in that other video. Maybe. Like, not only do they repurpose yeah. the same actors, they repurpose their fucking wardrobe. <laughs> Bonnie, oh my god, what are you doing? Why didn't you finish building our bed? <laughs> Like, honestly, why are they only sleeping on a twin bed? Aren't they supposed to be, like, like rich or something? Don't you have a knock? Hey, man, who's a cripple? I'm her husband. Who are you? I'm her new man. Wheels. <laughs> I think it's time you roll out of here. Baby, baby, come back to me. I finally got a good job, and then I can buy you all the, the things you want, like, like a big house and a nice ring. <laughs> Just shut up, you legless idiot. <laughs> Don't you get it? I'm with Kent now. He knows how to take care of a woman. And besides, he has so much money, I don't need him. Is this nigga really wearing ripped jeans? F. <laughs> Attraction level declined. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> yeah, she's my girl now. She's not looking for How come everyone that works with uh, Generation Hope has spots? <laughs> you want the wheelchair monster like you? You're not even a real man. You're, like You're a, not a real man. Disabled mutant. A disabled mutant. I love you forever. And you don't believe all that fairy tale stuff, do you? Grow up. I believe in fairy tale stuff like uh, the Tooth Fairy. I think you try to pull out your teeth one too many times. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh oh. Mr. Thickween, two dollar super chat. Good take identified dispensing uh dispensing base tokens. Not children. Yeah, but we still believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> That's no, common with the cripple that. believing in Santa Claus. Why is the camera shaking? Probably because the girl in the bed is holding it. What? There's a little, there's a little. We only allow men in the bedroom with working penises. You could have just rolled him out with his chair, you asshole. <laughs> Shit, hang on. <laughs> Just want to cap that. Is that a product placement <laughs> right there? George is so distraught by seeing the love of his life cheat on him with a stranger that he begins to work harder than he ever has at his job. After months of hard work- <laughs> Going on the dark web. So That's his dark web hoodie. That he develops an app that helps restaurants deliver food. The app becomes an immediate bestseller. So he created DoorDash. So he deserves to be shot. <laughs> making George a <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Meanwhile, things weren't going so good for Bonnie. Her relationship with Trent came to an abrupt end when Trent finally decides to leave her for another woman. Since Bonnie has spent most of her life avoiding work and trying oh, she's to got her dark web people, hoodie on. She struggles to find a job in a stable relationship. She eventually sees George on the cover of magazines and articles, so she decides to try and get him back into her life. 
Wait, wait, what's that? Get him back. And our Damn it! Bonnie Stevens, thank you for applying, but we, uh, but we have decided to reject. I love how they put reject in bold letters. Your employment after, uh, employment offer at this time. Wish you the best of luck. What? Look at this! You remember when I was talking about how their videos are a ripoff of Darman? Look at, look at this. It says Mardan. As, it, 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 Basically, like a jab at Darman. Unless he runs both channels. I don't know. I don't know if he runs both channels. If he doesn't, then this is a clear... This is clear shade at Darman. Why would... Why? Just why? Darman is also her dentist. <laughs> ...an article, so she decides to try and get him back into her life. Rich Life Bank. Let me guess. He can even walk again, right? <laughs> Rich Life Bank. Uh, okay. Hey. Oh, I, I just can't believe after all this time making this app that it's, it's finally paying off. Yeah. And then I'm going to be able to take care of my family. Bonnie. George! Wait, you're walking again? Ow. <laughs> exactly, oh, no, I knew I'm... it! <laughs> when I divorced, I spent most of my time developing my best-selling app, and I met some people in the biotechnology industry, and they uh, developed mechanical legs for me. Mechanical legs. <laughs> it's amazing what science and technology can do nowadays. They can do the same thing for you and your teeth. If you just believe. <laughs> Bonnie, why are you here? Trent left me. He never loved me. And... Well, no shit. Shallow and selfish person I've ever met. I'm sorry to hear that. That's awful. Thanks. I love how you said it. Like, I'm sorry to hear that. That's just... awful. <laughs> like, he doesn't give a shit. Which he shouldn't. I'm not saying he shouldn't. But that was funny. I was thinking about my life and how happy I was, how happy I was with you, and seeing how <laughs> successful you are in all these magazines, and I know now that you can afford to give me the life that I deserve. <laughs> like the bitch didn't even come, didn't even come to like a sincere conclusion. Like, well, I realized what I what I had, and I want it back. I realize I realize I realize there's more to life than than money. It's love. The, no, she still wants that money. Like, damn, <laughs> the thought never stops thotting. I was wondering if you wanted to get back together. Bonnie, let me stop you right there. <laughs> I am happily engaged to the woman of my dreams. She actually helped me develop the app while I was at my lowest, and we're getting married next month. So there is. No chance of us getting back together. Oh, stop it with the impact noises, please. Hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm heading out now. I'm just uh, fixing a, a bug in the system. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I love you too. All right, bye. I'm just trying to drop this crooked teeth, All right, <laughs> well, I gotta head out. Um, we're actually getting married in France, and I was able to rent out a whole museum for our wedding. Um, a anyways, museum? The fuck, you lame ass? Have a good life, Bonnie. No, please don't. Don't, 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 no, no. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> George. George. It's important to remember that true values come from the inside, not from the money we have or the way we look. Things and looks can fade over time. Or the the or the or the function of our legs. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay, that's it. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. I'm done. 
I think I missed some super super chats though. Oh fuck. Joshua Black, three dollar super chat. Do they watch X Men before making this? Okay, I already read Mr. Thick Weems. Oh shit. Winky Wanky Woo, I think, uh, I, I think the internet might have gone out when he sent this. Two pound super chat, I'm whiter than white, and I'm white, y'all. <laughs> y'all. Yeah, that's gonna be it for me. These fucking hiccups, I need to get another liter of water. Yeah, that was, that was hell. That was incredible. Incredibly bad. <sighs> oh, Jesus. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Like I said, I'm going to see if I can work on a video. Well, I'm already working on it. I'm going to finish scripting that, you know, the racist Karen video that I was supposed to cover tonight. But I'm not, but uh, I'm going to, that's going to have a, a dedicated video. And of course, I'm still working on the craft legacy review. Still, still writing that one. Uh, Bad Girl Wild 7, 499 Super Chat. Did you know that with Word Farm, <laughs> you can decrease your thoughtery? I did not know that. I need some somebody to decrease decrease this fucking these fu these fucking hiccups. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, still working on stuff. Thank you for in enduring this bullshit and enduring my hiccups and in, in the internet. And thank you for the super chats and the comments and the well wishes as usual. But I gotta get the fuck out of here. I just I just I just have to. Joshua Black, five dollars super chat. Just want to say thank you for making me laugh so much. Much love, Jay. Thank you. But yeah, well, let me hurry up and go. Let me hurry up and go. These fucking hiccups are killing me. Uh, but yeah, see you guys later. Love you. Appreciate you. And goodbye.